struggling to remember how Don't to Don't forget to up. cast the screen this I time. Am, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever he hits audio, we all just need to yell penis. Or, <laughs> well, it's already in there, so that's the first thing they get to hear. I think penis We're is here. a loud word. Alright, everybody say the gamer word. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, go ahead. Nah, no, say that a little bit closer to the wire. Uh... <laughs> uh, welcome, lovelies. How's it going? Y'all's week's been fine. Anyone know how to level up a character on Roll20? <laughs> it's like a character sheet. You just type it in. Fuck, well, I, that, also, that still means I need to know how to level up a paladin. <laughs> Use D&D Beyond, dumbass. <laughs> Use D and D Beyond, dumbass. <laughs> not sponsored. Not sponsored. Not, not sponsored. sponsored, not sponsored but welcome to be sponsored. But, if but you want to, we have feel. such a small viewer base that they are never going to consider. You don't know yeah, that. You don't know hey, that. Hey, <laughs> we got fourteen hey, views hey, last hey, week. Hey, okay. Beyond, can we enter a contract for the next two months? We will advertise freely to the three people watching our streams. <laughs> But what if all three of those people bought, like you know, like supreme, fucking you know, whatever the highest, <laughs> the highest the fucking highest. thing that they offer at D and D Beyond? My Beyond right? is different from the actual character. That's the problem. <laughs> God damn it! You're really hurting our chances here, and I don't appreciate it. Well, it's because I did stuff on D and D Beyond, and then Aaron was like, "All right, but you need to re-roll your stats because I didn't see you roll them," and I was like, "Okay." So I did all of it on here. I'm thinking about what I want to take for an, for another feat. Uh, for your feet, your feet pick. Yeah, my 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 feet pick. Um, I forgot I have only Spell thirteen HP right now. Pretty good, especially so you're since right. you're a warlock. I I am a I am a bard bard block. I am a hex bard. So it's now like, I should also say that. Uh, as, for being a, a, hex, a hex blade, there's a lot of really good feats that you could choose. Um, you already get like good stuff oh, against uh, concentration. So, um, well, well, spell sniper. Are you still using that um, huh? that drawing I made for you, like back in junior year of high school? Yes. Okay. This is this is weird, and I normally wouldn't ask this. Okay, but um. So f there's this one feat that looks really good and might help me. Um, huh? it is, it's, it's, it's it's dragon hide, right? And I like all of it. I mean, it gives it says it increases your strength, constitution, or charisma score by one up to a maximum of twenty. Okay, so that's the only part I don't like because I want a plus one in my decks because that would bring it up to a plus three, which would make the rest of the stuff that this gives me better. But I would have to have DM's permission to to give a plus one to, to hold on. I'll send you the link to the feed so you could read it and do some balance feet. checking for me. Um, feet, yum. Uh... Oh yeah, I should also preface: you guys aren't restricted by um, uh, by book sources. You guys can also use homebrew stuff as long as it's approved by me. Oh. Cool. Level four, fourth level, ability score, or another feat, correct? Yes. Yes. Yep. Okay. So either plus one, or a total of plus two divided as you choose among any of your six abilities, or one feat. <clears throat> okay. I totally forgot about the extra feat. I'm so glad I remembered. So do glad I want you're reminded. Feet, or do I want a stat? I mean, my stats aren't terrible. I mean... If you're close to a 20, you might as well get it up there. Put my charisma to 20? My yeah. charisma is at 20. You see, I don't I don't really have a problem with this, Sean. It huh? just means that I get to throw scarier things at you. Oh, uh, okay, well, you know. Okay, but here's my Please conspiracy theory. I think you were going to throw scarier things at me <laughs> at us anyway. And this is, really isn't going to change anything. Um, I mean, last time that happened, happened I died. Three dragons at you instead of two. <laughs> okay, to be fair, uh, James, you died because of my chaos table, and he scaled down that water weird. It just crit you. Still, I, I mean, yeah. <laughs> 
He okay, it was like one sixth of what it should have been. It was one it's fourth. Still I didn't make it that difficult, and it was a crit. It was not like it was <laughs> like crit almost okay. max damage. It was that is true. Crit almost max damage. You are a rogue, so you had a low health pool too. So it was not a lot of things stacked in your favor. I'm sorry, there, chief. <laughs> Man, you still almost killed me last session. Aaron is just one of those DMs who oh, I need to will roll just my fucking health. kill you. He will just straight up just Good. fuck it. Oh, yeah, hit, we'll dice. Just, we'll just hit dead. dice. Hit dice. Um, add, hit dice. I add. roll one of them to increase my health, right? Or do I roll all three? Roll one. Roll one. And of you them just take game. that plus your con mod and you add that to your health. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Oh, um, my Adam, confused. when it comes to yep. your uh, health, for the first three levels, whatever your health die is, take the max of whatever that was, add your con times three, <laughs> and that that's your... Oh, all Oh. Hey, Aaron, 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 Aaron. Aaron. Quick, quick question. Quick question. Quick question, please, Aaron. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. Am I allowed to use my character's inspiration to reroll hit die? <laughs> no, I'm not. Sorry, Chief. That's not how it works. <laughs> I'm going up by three health. Let's go. Hey. I ran a character for the longest time that had below, like, single-digit HP <laughs> until they were level 5. I'm, I'm really glad, I'm really, really glad that, like, D&D &D 5e has, like, minimum starting health, you know, that isn't rolled. It's just, like, your health strat at first level is this, you know? Yeah. Yep. Um, because, in theory, if, like, you could just die, like right off the bat if you had to roll for it in theory yes because if you had a minus two to your con and you rolled a one you'd fucking you're still born you're literally a miscarriage <laughs> that's awful like, you're, true oh that's true though yeah, I, I, like <clears throat> what, what happened to that uh weren't you gonna play like a like a dwarf barbarian <laughs> sorry shit, got, shit roll <laughs> Speaking of like screwed characters off the bat, you remember um, Chunky's uh, um, Cobalt that had like a negative five to its strength? Oh god, yeah. Because no. because <laughs> I rolled a three, and Cobalt's had it, and this was before the legacy stuff came out. So Cobalt's get a negative two to strength. So, so he was starting with one strength. Yeah. And I didn't realize how much that fucked me. That's yeah. like an incredible detriment. <laughs> you couldn't even pick up a pencil. No, I well, doubt. To get rid I of the character, we say he got caught in the wind and got blown away. <laughs> yeah. He had wings. He had wings. Yeah. yeah. He got a splinter and died. Well, the thing is, he had a 14 at con, so that was okay, I guess. But yeah. Natural, full twenty, full twenty in constitution, minus five in in strength. Literally, just like totally anemic. Just You're like, a wall. Cannot, You're a you, wall. You cannot. You can't. Like you could not do a single push up. You couldn't pick up a pencil. All right. You might as well just not have arms or legs. Like you but God damn, can you take a hit? Yeah. You drink poison and you're fine. You pick up a pen. You actually you're get over eel kind of poison when you drink it. <laughs> Concept, okay. okay. Uh, Gobby, the anemic goblin, and he is like he's like has a minus five in everything, but you build him to be as like bulky and durable as possible, like maximum health, you know. And his whole thing is that he's just a damage sponge, and that's it. That's the entire character. Man, you got him, boys. Man, I, <laughs> all right. I'm so sad. So, are we Pal doing okay for our impromptu level ups? <laughs> Paladins scale like shit. Yes, they do. Oh, they do. Dude, there's this scaling is beyond disgustingly slow. But you have smite, so it makes up. For okay, it. but like, I'd like to have be above three spells for longer than you know. You're a half one. caster. Doesn't matter, bro. <laughs> you don't get spells or, for a while. Or, or like I, I guess I mean I guess I get that extra attack at fifth level and that's just kinda of busted no matter when you There you go. Still. But that's fifth level. That's like 
two whole campaigns away if this guy survives long enough. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> are we guys, Are we all good? We, we do. Uh, we do I got my three health increase uh, and my twenty in charisma. So yeah, I'm ready. Yep. I'm good. And... All right. Oh wait. Oh wait. I oh. I forgot that I did not roll. Um. I didn't. I, I thought I did, but I did not um, roll my um, my hit die. Let me just. <laughs> my bad. Four. Hey. This is some shit. This is some shit, Average. bro. Average. <laughs> this is some shit, bro. What do you? What is that? Oh, you rolled a fucking D six. It's a D eight. You rolled below average. Yeah. No. Average is four plus two. That's six. Well, That's yeah. Well, no. With my con, it makes it average. It, that's that's not how it works. No. Average what is, is based on what the probability. Mean? What is this? Average Rick. for you would be six. The no, average so is based average on the with my con, but that's I'm saying average for a D8 is four. With no con, yes. Yes. With no con, correct. So I rolled the average for a D8, thanks with to my con. No, thanks you, to my con. You got a sum equal to your average. Yes. Which that. is different. I'll give you some of this ham fucking fist knuckle sandwich. You got fuckers. there. You got there. That's for sure. Sure. <laughs> trying so hard. I love you, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, RB roll the two. Yeah. Does our whole group just yes. have like a, a stutter um, among the group, or what's going on here? We've got like one shared brain cell. <laughs> Apparently, we're pretty much all competing for third place. <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. All of us combined <laughs> make about half a brain. Yeah. If Chunky's not. Chunky's got if a stutter. I only had a I brain. Got a stutter. Sean's got a stutter. Yeah. Aaron. I got a stutter. I got Aaron's a list. Tall. Okay. <laughs> Aaron's tall. Aaron's tall. Yeah, that, that's my. <laughs> I will forget. I say something and just repeat the whole sentence again. Blood takes a long time to get to his fingertips. He's weaker. Weaker. Go for the limbs. <laughs> Go for the heart. See, when it's on you, that means he'll bleed out slower if he gets fingers cut off. Okay, we're getting distracted. We're getting <laughs> distracted <laughs> and into a disturbing territory. Let's go minutes. back to what we yeah, were let's, doing. Let's get moving. I, I do have to leave, like, somewhat early tonight. But, but you know, not too much earlier than usual. So, let's okay. just get the show on the road. Okay. So... Rubble. Destruction. Bricks fall from the cavern that is created from this fire. Um, small radiant fires uh, in the distance of this once large cathedral. As opulence destroyed and taken to ash. The smell of burning corpses lies heavy in the air. Luckily, the town fire the fire brigade has come and put out a majority of the blaze, preventing it from spreading to the closest buildings carved into these walls. An old man is hopeless. Or it seems so. Definitely distraught, leaning amongst the rubble. Uh, Bricks, you see that old man who tried to take you to get purified just devastated and that's where we open up uh bricks uh you and the rest of the group is hanging around this fire uh <laughs> this innumerable blaze created by demons creatures of chaos what do you all do rick's just gonna kind of wander up to the old man and just be like, so, uh, when, when do I get the chaos boiled out of me? I can't do that anymore. <sighs> the artifact, the, the prolificon, it's been taken as he clenches his fists around his walking stick. <sighs> Foolish of me. 
to believe that there wasn't a plan for you. He grips that uh, walking stick and rotates it around in his hands a little bit. Arrogant of me to think that I go against my own god's domain, fate itself. You, creature, kin of chaos, who gave you this? Oh, the dumb magic? He nods. Um, he called himself the god of chaos. Hmm. He, uh, looks intently into the uh, rubble. Uh, holy artifacts burned to a crisp. <sighs> Little one. Have you ever heard of a god named Ravil? Uh. You can roll religion. Can I roll religion? 21, I apparently at, I have. I look up at uh, RB, and I want to just real quick ask RB what his health is at, and Bricks, so that I can do a little bit of healing for you guys. How are they looking? How are they looking? How are they? How are you guys? Uh, no, I should also you preface, you? you guys still haven't had a long rest. You still have expended spell slots as well. Yeah. That is okay. all that. Yeah. Um... With a 21, there is vague obscurity. Uh, Ra isn't a name that comes to mind, but you do know the basic structure of uh, how gods work. The suffix vil has always meant an evil god of some kind. And you kind of put together, and this is what a 21 is getting you. This is, you, on anything lower, you probably would have gotten. But, uh, from what you can connect is if Ro is the god of fate maybe Ra is the opposite of that whatever that might be um, I'm guessing it's like the evil god opposite of fate hmm. he nods <sighs> oh, gods <laughs> if you can come back with the Prolificon. I can cur cure you of this. But I fear that Ra and Ra Ness and. Uh, I feel that Ra Ness may have something planned for you. And. Uh, sorry. Uh, Ra Vil may have something planned for you. Along with Rones, Rones may indeed be using you as a pawn in his game, his infinite plans as he is the god of fate. You must have a purpose, you must, that's the only explanation for... He looks to the rebel once again. For this. Well, he kind of slouches down once again ash gently falling onto his head. Bricks just kind of like sticks one leg out does an about face on the one foot and starts walking to everybody else and as he gets kind of close he says well we're off to get some artifact of his so he can get the chaos out of me. You just see Arby playing with the ash like it's snow falling. <laughs> oh god. Um, you're, you're taking this very jovially. Jovially. Hey um uh... Don't, don't we, um, don't you have a friend back at the tavern? Yeah. <laughs> oh, he, uh, Owen isn't at the tavern, is he? He went to go somewhere else. Um, yeah, he went to an inn. So, how long has this fire, like, has, like, all this shit been happening at the church? Uh, this has been going on for maybe around four or five hours into the night. Okay, so, noticing Ruckus, there's only one person it could have been. 
So I, I, I would think Alwyn is uh, at least on his way to go check out what's going on. Yeah, I was about to say, the giant burning fire with bricks within a mile, I think he knows roughly where I yeah. am. Yeah. Uh, Alwyn's yeah, um, way. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Alwyn, uh, I think your first hints to start heading out was probably when the fire brigade was notified. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, horns were blaring down the uh, streets of Harsum. He's like, um, fuck. For, <laughs> for those of you who are new, Harsum is the city that you've been staying in for a while. It's, um, it's a city completely bisected by a river. Um, it is a city built into these large cliff faces above this river that's cut straight through basically almost a mountain it's a really huge hill but it's basically almost a mountain with how tall this uh expanse is and it is an old dwarven citadel layered um from down to the river where all the dock workers bring in goods and take them up the city uh layered all the way to the top where you have farmers who um plant their crops right above the city um <clears throat> And I feel like you found an inn that uh, is a good ways away. So it, that's kind of just explaining away you not being in combat. Yeah. So, but here I am. Or, well, at least on the way. I don't know how long it would take me to get there. Mm, I'd say that you're not too far behind the uh, fire okay. brigade. Yeah, okay. so... When I when when Grem sees Alwyn, uh, she smiles and says, um, "Well, there's the hunk hunk of metal. That's what I meant." Uh, uh, I'm glad I'm glad you could catch up with us. Uh, Alwyn's gonna run straight past everyone, pick up bricks. What the hell did you do? <laughs> Throw them into I, the floor, I like didn't do anything. Like I didn't do anything. I swear. <laughs> Actually, hold on. Shit. I did two what things. What did you do, bricks? I forgot how to use stairs. Uh. And something else that I'm not entirely sure what. It wasn't well, this, though. Uh, I am upset that this happened, and I should not have left you alone with these strangers. They don't know how to handle you yet. <laughs> you don't know how to handle me. I don't know how that, to handle me. Exactly. They, but they are much less versed in this. I so, think that's the whole pitch of your character, really. It was kind of just, I, we don't know how to handle this, right? It, Pretty much. Yeah. Th no, nonetheless, I, I'm i upset you did this. I didn't do this. Like, he's going he's gonna, to, like, grab onto, like, bricks and, like, kind of crouch down, look around, make sure the, the fire brigade's not watching. Good job picking a church to burn down. I couldn't have picked better myself. <laughs> <laughs> To be fair, this wasn't his his fault. It was actually someone else. Really? Uh Well, why do you never believe me? I so I don't know. Sometimes you glow and things just happen. This place Even was already on fire was before I got here. Ah. Uh, well, n nonetheless, uh let's get out of here before we start having to pay uh for damages. Don't worry, we just have to go get a uh, holy artifact for that old dude over there, and then I get the chaos boiled out of me. Bo boiled? Like a... In a good way. Like a fish. In a, in a good way, yeah. Well, no, more like, um... A lobster. Yeah, maybe a fish. Mm, that involves the death of the thing that you're boiling. I think it's like... I may die like, in this, I don't know. No, he said that you wouldn't. He said that you'd be fine. You'd just be reverted to your previous state. Okay, anyone can explain without describing food, uh, one of you two? Um, so, basically, there was an old man who picked up bricks and was going to kidnap him, and so, um, I didn't feel like beating up an old man or getting violent, so I figured we'd just go with him, um, because he's talking about boiling the chaos out of bricks. And as it turns out, it wouldn't have killed bricks, it would have just done good for him, it would have just removed the curse, like, like he wants. Um, and, um, so... Yeah, uh, we we did like we just we came and then there were imps in the church and they burned the fuck shit up and here we are. 
you have more restraint than me. I would have killed the man the moment he grabbed Brix. Um, you know, I don't know Brix, really. He might I, be evil, for all I know. I just kind of went with it. Not on purpose, he's not. <laughs> it depends well, on okay. the village Everybody you're talking to. Everybody just looks at Brix. He blinks one eye right after the other. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so yeah, and as, as he say, as, as, the, as one eye blinks and the other does, uh, he also says, <laughs> it depends on the village. Some deem yeah, some see, deem me like, a god. Some deem me the devil. It just depends. I've known Bricks for all of like two hours, if that. And so, like you know, I like I don't want to be like, oh, don't don't kill the demon child. But I also don't want to be like, oh, kill the demon child. I was pretty neutral on it, you know. Fair enough. And anyway, what was that about uh, a hunk of metal? Talking about the thing there with the screen. Is that a tablet on your face? And just glitches out into a wink. <laughs> uh, yeah, I found him under a tree. He has a button on the soft spot of his head. <laughs> and oh, I don't know what I don't know what Adam's character looks like. Uh, Adam's oh, character has yeah. not been introduced yet. Adam's not there. Correct. Oh, oh, that's right. I forgot. Okay, okay, okay. Nonetheless, mm -hmm. well. All right, well, what artifact are we getting, and where do we need to go? And is he paying? Um, he's paying by getting the chaos out of me. Um, that's good. That's your payment. I and mean, then we can probably extort us. him for some... I mean, we could probably ask him for, you know, gold no. after that. The first word was I correct. I can't believe I... you're talking about extorting someone who just lost their home. <laughs> I no. mean, it just depends. Like, it really, it really just depends. Like, you know, we, I mean... Well, how about we talk out away from here? Uh, yeah. You Sorry, watch. old man, for talking about extorting. <laughs> yeah, no, so. I do not continue. So, Move along. As, as, softly sobbing uh, himself. Owen, as you're standing there, like, holding bricks in the death grip you have been, you just kind of feel that weight drop out as he slips between your fingers. And oh, it, no, you're like, you're like under me, under my arm like a football right now as I'm waving everyone away. Oh, so I'm probably facing backwards then? Kinda. Uh, he bricks then yells at the old man. What exactly am I looking for? Like, what does it look like? It's it's a uh, a golden phylactery filled with eyeballs. Oh, you mean this? <laughs> <laughs> when you stop at the dungeon before you get the quest. <laughs> Got it. Well, I I well, will get that very disturbing artifact for you. Where did he say this? Dragonstone standing in White Run. Um, White Run. We don't know where it is. It's just a we matter don't... of. Well, how are we supposed to know where it is? The imp stuck it. Uh, probably hell. I guess I don't know if you believe in that. We have to follow the trail of the imps. Simple as that. Well, well, I guess. Um, let's just. Um, can I look around and? see if I could find the, the trail of the imps? Uh, sure, yeah. What should I roll? DM! Sorry, I... <laughs> DM, totally what should I roll? Out. Sorry, uh, I need you to roll me a uh, investigation. Uh, no, actually, if we're looking for tracks specifically, that's a survival check. Survival! No! Oh, no. I did not survive. You're burned to life. No. Um, oh, shit. <laughs> happens. A, a six. Um, you look through the rubble. It's mostly ash, crumpled stone. Uh, a, the heat of this blade got hot enough to reduce the structural integrity of this inside this uh, once opulent um, the, the cathedral, basically, uh, to nothing more than just rubble. Um, darkened it with all the carbon that was burnt up. And amidst all this ash and broken stone, burnt artifacts and cloth of pews, it's there's there's nothing that you can glean from this. I mean, there, there's a couple tracks from near towards the entrance where you guys were, but that's clearly your own tracks. Well, time for Arcana. <laughs> Um, I should also point out that imps can fly. Well, 
This certainly throws a rant. I'm st I'm now deciding that Grem's voice is going to be Sandy Cheeks from SpongeBob. Uh, I don't know why that just occurred to me, but it fits in my head. Um, well, this is your heart. This is this is this is quite the pickle. I don't I don't understand how we're supposed to figure out where they went if everything's on fire. Nobody hear that. What? Why did you just say pickle so quietly? Pickle. This is quite the, Are you this insulting? Is quite the I, I was like, I what? It's like, you just said it out of tone of the rest of the sentence, it sounded like. Oh. <laughs> Shut the. Quit picking on me for I say pickle, <laughs> goddammit. <laughs> okay. Uh, I will destroy you and everyone you love. Racially motivated commentary, okay? <laughs> so, against the, are you making fun of my pickleage? Yeah. Um. <laughs> I'm in hell. <laughs> uh, do I, would I know what a Warforged is? Wait. Uh, Warforged are far less common in this world than most of the other races, but it's not unheard of to see, uh, you know, at least some artificer creates something akin to a man. Uh, there's often stories about, like, machines imbued with souls. Stuff like that, but hey, not not or, like or they're the super is. common. So I I'd say you've been in the city long enough to have seen some automatons, mm. uh, which they they specifically are not called warforged here. Uh, they are called automatons. Okay, automatons. Okay, robot. <laughs> Jesus Christ. They am robot. Uh, Damn robot. Uh, automaton there. Do you have some kind of search feature? Like a big wide scan or something? Echolocation, no. maybe? Do you have a comedically large radar dish on the top of your head that can, like, sense noises from over a mile away? Yes! No. Oh. That's a hurtful stereotype. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. Ah, well, uh unlucky we got we got the one that hits things and does heal it that's that's what our robot does oh well, okay well very nice then where uh, did you get that armor that armor is really really nice who whose armor your armor it it is quite uh, actually wait yeah i did i did clean it on the ship didn't i you I did think, indeed I yeah. think it fits you really well. Uh, why? Thank you. It's my old military armor. I just... Tend a military to... man? Uh, former. For, former. For a veteran? Mm. Oh, uh, okay. Yes. Veteran. Ha. <laughs> uh... You can't stop me. I mean, what? I mean, uh, uh, listen. Briggs, that is not what is going on here, Briggs. I would be Briggs able to tell. Cock we're just being friendly with each other. We're, we're just, I roll to just see if, if I know where the imps went. Uh, yeah. Um, how are you going to... Uh, explain to me how you're going to track. I have no idea. All right, that doesn't give me a lot of options. Other um, than probably you survival to, to look for any kinds of tracks. That's probably what I'll do. Okay. Like, look for any like disturbance in the rubble, I guess, or something. Eighteen. All right, uh, not a bad one. Um, you do manage to see some weird, almost like permutations. They they almost look like they would be. Like, it, have you ever seen uh, turtle tracks on yes. the beach? Oh, yeah. Um, well, it, it's similar to that, but without a big middle line down the center. Um, and they lead towards this central vault-ish area. Where clearly, this is some kind of division between the average churchgoer and the clergy. Right. 
Okay. Um, I think that they went this way. The up is returned. Okay. Uh, uh, which way did you say? Uh, mind pointing for me he, again. Yeah, he just literally points in the direction of where the tracks are leading. Well, I I think we should um logically head that way. Yes, of course. Uh, ooh, I can take the lead on this. Uh, not. I'll be behind, Alwyn. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. It, just, it just makes sense for me to be in second, you know. Ah, uh, yes. Of course, of course. Keep the uh, spell caster, is that what you are? Yes. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a uh, yes. well, technically a half caster under D&D &D 5e rules, but you know, like, <laughs> you can call me a spell caster, yeah. Man, thank God our characters know how to break the fourth wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it makes it makes immersion so fun. Wait, so what? Uh, what? What? What class are this? Is I'm a I'm a I'm a hexblade uh, warlock bard. Okay, 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 a warlock. Ah, sword uh, bard. Uh, sword. You're a warlock bard. Yes. Okay. Ah. Well, I'll take the lead, uh, Miss. What is your name again? Um, my name's my name's Grin. I um, uh, you know, I'm I, I'm a, I'm a dragonborn, as you can see. I'm a I'm a a emerald dragonborn, well, and uh, you know, I'm an adventurer just like you guys. Well, Jem, I, I will. I I think it's, it's a very good idea to Grim. keep uh, Grim. Ah, yeah. My apologies. Keep the our. Uh, uh, what was I saying? He's but, not good with names. Just leave him alone. Keep our, Brain no our, work so goo. Keep our occult uh, merry maker behind me. And uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Automaton. Uh, hey, uh, I'm Hardy. Hi, uh, Arby's. Uh, Hardy? Yes. Uh, nonetheless, you oh, stay behind Jem uh, here. And uh, you seem like a holy man, so if we need anything for that, I'll, I'll let you know. His face glitches into a wink. I'll take that as an okay. Anyway, onwards. <laughs> Still carry <clears throat> and we're gonna. Uh, Graham, as way. as Olwen turns to lead the way, I'm guessing <laughs> her eyes go to his butt, and all you see is Bricks's face. <laughs> hands blocking. Briggs has his little hands blocking it, and staring her into staring into her soul. <laughs> Grab, 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 like, like narrows her eyes, and it, all she's thinking right now is, "Wait, hold on! I just remembered. I'm a gem. I, I am a, I'm a psychic dragon. I can psychically communicate with you. Um, you hear a uh, like um." You hear he's, she's going to start a, a link with you, Bricks, and she's going to say, um, listen, okay? Yes, he is attractive, okay? Why are you cock-blocking him like this? I, I, don't, I don't understand. What's going on here? Many reasons. Many reasons. I'm See, protecting that both of you. <laughs> are you saying this as you are walking into uh, this... Uh, room this uh well room is generous there's a large door that is charred and burnt and the walls have deteriorated you can't quite see through but it's it's this is, clearly damaged this is in my um the, the, this is in through the psychic link because i'm a i'm a psychic dragon i'm an emerald yep. dragon yep but yeah oh, okay. it, it's it's in it's in my head but yes it's like as we're walking into that door Perhaps I'm sorry, I ran to go grab some stuff and I, my head fell off connection. <laughs> Basically, me and Grum are arguing. Uh, I will. Uh, I, I will appreciate and uh, m make him be emotionally available. That's that's what I'm going to do. Haha. <laughs> Funny. Good. Woman Good luck with that. I've been trying that for a while now. <laughs> I, I can fix him. I can fix him. I can fix him. <laughs> As you walk into this uh, divider between the um, the uh, the clergy and the um, average masses, 
um, you are confronted with a room equally destroyed by the fire, rubble and ash, large stones block views, but there is a clear center of the room of which is surrounded by ash and has a faint purple glow to it uh, before it's got this low pulsating uh, value to it. Um, it's magical, obviously, but uh, around it, it seems to be untouched by the ash. And yeah, uh, what do you all want to do? Hmm. Well, I remember when we were in here, um, I saw one of the big imps go towards the back as if he was like heading to the back of the church. So I'm wondering if maybe there was like an exit of some kind or if he just flew away. May I roll Arcana? Sure. Yeah, uh, specifically on this uh, pulsating energy in the center of the room. Yep. Sure, yeah. I was just going to put bricks back Sam. in his thing. I mean, it's definitely magical. Um, vaguely, you get the vague sense that it is conservation in some manner, but as to any detail on that, that. <laughs> as to any detail on what it is, uh, you've got no clue. Bryce just kind of stares at it for a minute. And it's like, say it one more time, it's like a dome where, like, nothing is touched, like the fire didn't touch, or? In a uh, radius around this area, this uh, faint pulsating mass in the center of the room. And this is opaque, you can see through it. It's like something was there, but it seems to have vanished as of late. And around it, it seems to be completely devoid of any rubble, any ash, or anything. May I, may I attempt to it? walk into the area? I, yo, same. Sure, yeah. All right. Um, you do so. Ah. Uh, you track a bit of the ash on your feet, leaving tracks um, into this faint purple area. And, uh, yeah. It's <laughs> you don't feel any different. Well, I'm out of ideas. Hmm. Um, let me, let me scroll through my spells. Let's see what spells I got. That's the word I was gonna say. Thank you. Spells. Yes, I was. I got stuck on it. Um, nothing. Nothing useful. Now, if I use that, I waste all my, I waste my last second level spell slot. Man, imagine second level could it be me? You're right. It, it actually can't be you. Yeah, I know. Not till next level. Same. Can I roll? Can I do detect magic? Sure. Yeah. Who actually gonna have first has level magic ready? That's crazy. Um, yeah, no, that's that's good call on you for having that ready. Yeah, what? I'm like, bro. <laughs> when I played the pre, uh, uh, cleric did not have it ready ever. <laughs> Very poor decision on that. Uh, it's a ten minute ritual. So go ahead and explain to me uh, what all you're doing to uh, prepare this. Um, how do I explain this? First, I cut out the heart of a child. Wait. <laughs> grab one there of the are, what if you heard of down. orphans? Yes. <laughs> one of the many that attacked me. Did they attack you guys? Oh, yeah, yeah they, because of they me. They attacked me only. <laughs> Kill the whole um, He sits down in the middle of this area that has that purplish hue to it, like you said. Mm -hmm. And 
he pretty much like crisscrossed applesauce. He's like meditating in a way, and you see that his screen turns into a loading symbol. <laughs> okay, now I have to ask, which loading symbol is it? Uh, the Google old Chrome. Mac? Is it the old Mac ones, the little rainbow spirals? No, or it, is it the Google Chrome? <laughs> it, it's the symbol of Binus. It's the um, you know, it's just spinning Binus? in a circle. Oh, yeah, the okay. God of magic. Yeah. Oh, oh, bind them. Ah, okay. Yeah, and it's just spinning uh, in a circle right there, and every once in a while I'll stop for a second and glitch and then continue. Did they not upgrade this thing from dial-up? It's so loud. <laughs> oh, yeah. It sounds like a Aegis computer. Yeah. Oh, gross. I hate that. Dial-up, dial-up. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> real quick question. Uh, what spell slot did you use to cast this? You said second first level. level. No, first I did level. first level for this. Um. If he's okay. casting so, it as a ritual, then no spell slot is, is uh, ex expanded. Uh, you can either cast it uh, as an action and use the spell right. slot yep. for ritual. Gotcha. Okay, that's on so me. That's my that. bad. Okay. Um, so, yeah. yeah. So, uh, it'll tell you the school. Cool. Um, so, yeah. Uh, just like Rick's saw, it is conjuration magic uh, to be a little more specific it's some sort of uh, displacement magic um the uh conjuration school is not just creating things but also moving them around space um yeah mm. so there's just like a pulsating magic presence of some kind is that what i'm understanding yeah um yeah there is <laughs> i'm can debating we, what telling you can we triangulate where the epicenter of this magical force uh yeah sure uh roll me an arcana check okay because that's that's what i want to find because if we can find if we can find the epicenter of it then maybe we could do all sorts of funky stuff you know 12 I'm not touching anything that requires intelligence. Sorry. <laughs> the negative two to it, yeah. Um, with a twelve, I'll. Coming up and find you. Me. You have a uh, good general sense of how magic ebbs and flows in this world. Uh, all power is derived from the sphere of augury, but it seems like where this localized spell was taken is around the center of this room. Uh, it feels as if, it, if you're trying to triangulate something, you need two other points, right? Mm -hmm. um, you you don't sense any other points. Uh, it is just the center of the room. That or, it, you really have like two options when it comes to this. It's um, either the points aren't there, so you can't triangulate them, or the points are at such great distances that you would never be able to detect them with any kind of magical sense. Hmm. So, I, I kind of gesture, you know, where it's like, it seems like the epicenter might be. Um, Swing my mace in that area. I, I was going to do the same thing, but with my sword that is kind of magical. <laughs> Um, I think you both do it at the same time. Start slashing oh, at it. Roll to hit on both of each other. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, I, I summon my blade and I, I start waving it around in that kind of vicinity. 21. Uh, well, I didn't... <laughs> no, don't, don't actually. Yeah, um, yeah no. Uh, you feel nothing pass through. Um you get the feeling like whatever magic was used here, and it's starting to pulsate slower and slower and get dimmer and dimmer. Uh, you get the impression that uh, whatever was cast, it was cast a while ago, and this is just what's left. Oh, I thought you said something was here. Uh, well, apparently... We found what was here, but this seems to be all. Uh, let's get out of the 
recently burning building. Sound like a good idea? As you say that, a brick falls from high up and just slams right next to your foot. Like I, I like this more for that I created. Um, <clears throat> can I roll a perception or survival real quick to see if there is anything left over from the imps in the area? Yeah, roll me a survival. Tracks, droppings, anything like that. That's all. That's all survival, baby. Thirty twenty. Ah, nice. Um, yeah, you can see around the perimeter of uh, this small circle, you see two tiny little uh, feet, uh, for lack of a better word. Or not feet, but tracks. Um, and as you look around it, you see this big kind of square centered on the exact middle, as if something was there. Uh, and it's just gone now. It's been moved. Um, yeah. Well, from what I can tell, there was something right here in the middle. And then, I guess two imps just came and took it somehow? Maybe this was what summoned the imps. It is conjuration, after all. Maybe this was, you know, maybe something or an artifact or a portal or something like that that summoned the imps. Do I see any... I look up. Is it just open space? Yeah, up until the ceiling. It's just ceiling. It's open space up until the ceiling. Okay, so there is rock above me. Okay. Yes. Um... And I don't see any, like, drag marks that, you know, whatever this thing in the middle was, got dragged away. Correct. You, uh, see no indication of it being dragged Well, either they flew out with it, or they teleported it. Either Ooh, way is bad news for point. us. Maybe they just went back to hell. They just took it and went back to the depths of the abyss to Tartarus, you know? All right. Time for, uh, what was that young lad's name? Dante? Let's take the same way he went. Is Didn't he just fall asleep? Isn't that how he went to hell? Wasn't, wasn't, he, wasn't he, like, given a tour by an angel or some shit? Yeah. It depends on whether you're watching this movie. The, playing the game or reading the actual story. Who, who knows? I am the storm that is it's approaching. God. <laughs> so, God. and I don't notice anything else that, you know, is in general out of the ordinary. Yeah, no. Um, you get the feeling that you were pretty well on the money with all the information that you can. Well, let's get out of here and try to figure out something. Maybe the old man has a clue. Yeah, I guess. Oh, yeah. Perfect line of questioning for him. All right. Let's let's go get let's go talk to him. Who? Talk to who? The the old man who kidnapped Bricks. Oh, we're not done with him? No, we gotta talk to him again. Uh I wanna go out and go talk to the old man. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I, you I, walk I, up I, to him. Uh, he is clearly distraught. He is <laughs> currently kneeling in a pile of ash. Hey, buddy. Um, so we think that the imps took whatever you, uh, whatever was in there and uh, teleported with it, and uh, kind of you know va vanished. So I guess I'm wondering. I want to ask. Do you know where they might have went with it? Like, like, where, where do, what do imps call home base? He ponders for a second. Well, I'm not certain where they are from. Imps come from many places, uh, but most often they come from the hellish sphere. Uh, I guess sometimes 
they can come from the void sphere, but mm, I I don't know. Hmm. The, I turn back to the group and I say, so this it brings up, um, you know, we're adventurers and which means we have to d- 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 what, what's the term? There's a term I'm looking for. D- dally, d- d- davy out, davy out our time and, and objectives, you know, be, be smart about what we pursue. Um, I had, a, I had a plan earlier that I, I wanted to bring up to you guys that's separate from this. Um, uh, uh, another mission that might might interest us. But um, for now, it seems like we have no idea where these imps went. Hmm. Rix is now just like on Alwyn's shoulder, just sitting there pouting like a, like a four-year-old. I may have missed a little. What happened? I blinked. <laughs> we don't know where the imps went. We have no idea, oh, like, okay. if there's anywhere they could have gone. Like Hellisphere. Uh, that's I about heard it. That. Yeah, I mean, that's all I, I know. Is there a uh, cult of uh, Ravil somewhere that you know of? Uh, no. Um, any cult to that god has been long dead. Fuck me. Wait Are we going back to that village? <laughs> yeah, well? was, yeah, hold on. I think Brix just kind of seizes up, and then yeah. Brix, and then, oh, when like, you oh, hear the fuck. sound of stone grinding as he turns to you. And Alwyn just looks at you like, fuck. Oh God! Uh, you guys would know that uh, they were definitely not cultists of evil chaos gods. They they oh, were far God. more in line with something else. Oh, thank God! Thank goodness! Thank goodness! Are you like? Yeah, I I think you your characters would be smart enough to put two and two together that they were some kind of mecha cult. Thank goodness. Okay. Fuck, alright, well, push push them back into the fucking back of the closet where they belong with the other ideas that need to come back later. It's like, get out of here, go, go, You're not, we're not ready for you yet. Um, Stage left, get out, Stage left. So, I don't know um, what y'all's opinions on the Adventuring Guild is. Um, <coughs> hopefully not. Oh yeah, they're coming to um, town, Alwyn. Yeah, the Adventuring Guild's coming to town, and I got a plan to fuck them over before they can do anything. Uh, well, why are they coming to town? <laughs> what um, reason would they have? They're going to a, just... a, a, a ruin not far away from here. Wait a minute. Yeah, they're, they 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 received word of a, of a ruin, of a dungeon, that they're going to go in and clear out. And I say we hit it before they can, take all the Sounds goods, like and make them look like fools. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> cool. Let's fucking f- fuck these motherfuckers, you know? Let's, uh... Let's Go frickin'. do some raiding, as they say. <laughs> Let's frickin' f- 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 oh. fuck them fuck over, you know? Um, Let's... But, but, but getting rid of my <laughs> chaos. Fucking... You don't want to know, Arby. Yeah, it's just, just you say frick. You're not allowed to cuss, okay? Well, well don't, you don't cuss around slayers. the child, then. It just, I don't know, it's just, I feel like he's not supposed to cuss. You know, like, look at him. Kiss my shiny metal ass. Yes, sir. <laughs> Kiss my shiny metal ass. Um. All right. Uh, can we do some uh, shopping first? Uh, it's like three in the morning, bud. Can we do some sleeping first? I would go for some sleep right now. That sounds nice. <laughs> well, off we go then. Back to town. Where are you sleeping, Alwyn? <laughs> Bite slip, <laughs> raises eyebrows. <laughs> Alwyn, you would have, you would have, uh, I, Miss Lepidop, the uh, owner and proprietor of the uh, Moonlight Lit, <laughs> uh, Moonlight Lantern Inn and Tavern, 
uh, told you that uh, there was no more rooms as uh, with the influx of the Adventurers Guild Deven uh, Division Number 7 coming to the uh, town of the city of Harthum, there is not a whole lot of rooms free. You did manage to find a room at a day, but... Uh, at an know, Airbnb? I, no, not, not an Airbnb. It's not a makeshift hotel, but it's like an actual an actual okay. inn. Um, yeah, uh, you are staying at the... Do, do, do. You're staying at the Pig's Fantasy. Uh, <laughs> <what>? <laughs> Excuse me? Sorry. I'll generate these It's not like a gay cop bar. Oh, it does. Mean, I mean, uh, it it, like mommy, I mean, bar. fuck, uh, sorry. The what fantasy? Pig's fantasy. Hmm, I've slept there a few times. Sorry, mistress. Do I have to, are they all called mistress there, all the workers? Am I gonna get stepped on when I go in? <laughs> <laughs> I, I worked there. I worked Listen, there. Little Listen, pink boys that come from the dirt. <laughs> you did remember to get me a bucket, right? Dirt. You walk in and they're immediately like, "Hey, little piss boy, what do you want to drink?" <laughs> uh, I want a woman that could fucking kill me. <laughs> so, uh, anyway. contrary to what you're seeing, the pig's fantasy is a very gross tavern in. It's <laughs> it's yeah? very. It's, I wonder. Um, they basically, uh, how do I put this? The kind of food that they serve is basically the greasiest southern cooking you can imagine. Oh, so squeeze God, in I Stockton. Don't. Got it. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> God, I don't have to eat. Whew. It's like a, it's like it's like smoke creations in Ottawa. <laughs> it's like a, yeah. There I is. got comparison for Kansas City. Yeah. Um. Anyway, <laughs> your hotel. See, I, I I love their um. I love their. We need to come up with fantasy fast food, like greasy ass fantasy fast food. Um. I love their owl bear baby ribs. Baby owl bear back ribs. Baby owl bear back ribs. <laughs> back baby back baby back. <laughs> wow, these. These dragon peaches are quite delicious. Uh, do you have any of that? Sweet dragon candy? oysters, yum. Dragon <laughs> oysters, awful. Oh, gross. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, Jesus. Anyways. Do you have uh, any of that yeah. sweet tea? <laughs> I heard it's quite popular around here. So, yeah, you are staying at the Hogs Famous, a, a seedier uh, bar and rest For pig and pig. inn. But um, it's. It's cheap. Like, it was, like, 15 silver to stay the night, which is unheard of in the city. And the room very much displays why it's that cheap. Yes, so I'll be staying at the Pig's Fantasy. Thanks. Uh, no need to worry about me, though. Don't, I can handle myself. You all can go on back to your rooms. Wait, well, do you mean... Um, fuck. Grim have a room? Oh, wait, what? Yeah, I thought you guys were at the inn. Yeah, I, I thought I thought we were Yeah, you two in. you two are already you two already have rooms at the uh oh. Moonlight Lantern Inn. Yeah. Uh, oh, and if, inn. if you're if you're scared of, you know, being at an unknown inn by yourself, I can rent a room right next to you if you like. <sighs> All the rooms are already taken up <laughs> at the Moonlight Lantern. I know at the pig's fantasy. Oh, <laughs> even worse. <laughs> Thank you for your kindness, but no, no need. Don't worry, I'm gonna be in the same room as him. He looks at you with like almost a look of confusion for a second. Like all I need is a bucket. I can be anywhere. I can say he's a pet, and he gets in for free. It's very nice. We've done it she, before. She looks at you. She tilts her head, and then through the psychic link is like. Do you look at me like competition? <laughs> I look. I look at you like. Is that? I look at you like you're gonna be a pain in my ass. You, you look at me like competition. <laughs> I see how it is. Owen does and, not understand anything of what's going no, on. No, no, no. This glaring is, at each other. I know, but I'm, he's you guys yeah. glaring at each other, and he's just like. 
they the must fight be really, for they must soul. be really good friends. I wonder what happened at the church to get them to <laughs> the God, we got our main anime protagonist. <laughs> oh, well, well, in my character's defense, in my defense, my character has an intelligence of eight. Exactly, and my... protagonist. Alwyn, uh, Alwyn has a harem, and it consists of a dragon lady and an axolotl. Um, <laughs> so. Anyway, not the weirdest that. anime protagonist harem we've ever. Yeah, right. Not yeah, the weirdest, but... you're right. Like. <laughs> Um, Look, looks yeah, over at the I'll anime that's not it. to be named. <laughs> <laughs> One uh, healer anime? Phew. Oh god, anyway. don't mention that. Anyway. Anyway. I, I was, I was going to talk about a certain monster one, but anyway. Hey, yeah. That doesn't help. Anyway. By the time I got reincarnated as a slime. <laughs> um, not that. Any, anyway, anyway. 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 We're, we're, we're splitting ways here. Anyway, uh, I'm mm -hmm. gonna just grab a bucket on the way to the end, just off the side, just you know, like yoink it from somebody's like side of their house, just <laughs> on the yeah. way to the, to the end. You, you steal in the middle of the night. Yep. Someone yep. steps out and is like, "What are you doing with my home?" <laughs> they look up and they see that it's all wind that's holding their bucket. They're like, "You can, you can have it." <laughs> uh, thank you, good sir. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I've played Dark Souls enough you to know where this two, is going. You two, you two head to your uh, each, each pair heads to their respective day for the night, um, and as both Grim and Arby head into the Moonlight Lantern Inn and Tavern, you are met with a very peculiar sight. Hey, um. Adam, why don't yes. you just describe what your character is doing to cause such a scene this late at night? Hour in, let's go! I'm supposed to cause a scene, eh? Yeah, uh, like, uh, for whatever uh, reason. Hey. Why, why'd you give him a task to do something like that? He's gonna do something so stupid. Can I be in a... Can two drunkards try to pick a fight with me? Is that what I can do? I mean, if that's how you can justify it, why would they be fine? Because I was just going to sleep outside of the inn because there was no rooms. And these two didn't like me just loitering about. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> uh, I think that's what happens. Um, two drunkards are sluggishly throwing their fists around off kilter in every capacity. Uh, towards you, right in front of the <laughs> uh, the moonlight lantern, as uh, both Grim and Arby approach. We'll describe what your character looks like as they're fighting off drunks. Uh, you see, just this automaton with like a barbaroot helmet, uh, with a dark, uh, dark faceplate. But these bright blue glowing eyes, and all that, all the clothing that they've got is uh, this green little cloak that only goes over one shoulder, and just with one shield, just kind of carrying them off and just like go away. Um, Grem seeing not to hurt them. Grem seeing this, uh, like you know, having unsummoned her sword gets very excited. It's like. Oh hey, I love fighting, and is going to run up and like grab one by the waist and like suplex him. German suplex in the middle German... of the tavern. Yeah, <laughs> I want a German suplex him. Uh, this is outside the tavern, but oh, uh, yeah, no. go go ahead and the attack roll plus strength. That's what a grapple is. Isn't grapple athletics versus um? It, it is. Or acrobatics? Yes. It, it's uh, it's bait. So. Grapple is an attack, right? Uh, you're using your you're yeah. using your athletics modifier. Okay, uh, okay, yeah. Boogie. Sounds good to me. He is not doing much with a three, so nine. <laughs> yeah, you grapple him. Um, go ahead. Uh, 
uh, you don't have a second attack, he's gonna get to try and resist at least. I just uh, if uh, and my, that my one goal. isn't gonna do it, so you yeah, go I ahead just, and uh, I want to suplex him, just like just full on German suplex onto the ground. Roll me a uh, on uh, mm. yeah, roll me a uh, unarmed uh, attack roll with advantage. Uh, you have him, okay. you have him pretty <laughs> wrapped um, up. Um, wait, hold on. It's an uh, attack roll plus strength. Yeah, do I get proficiency? No, you do no. not have proficiency. Oogie. Um, and I roll with advantage. The, uh, tavern brawler feet or the, uh, uh, or are a monk, you don't have proficiency with it. Well, so I do have, um, I do have dragon hide, which does give me a natural weapon. That's uh, different from the arm strike. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, it says which you can make to use on, or you which you can use to make unarmed strikes, if you if you hit. Yeah. Them. So uh, okay. Yeah. It's, it's fine. Supplementing the damage for strikes. I get you. Um. So twenty two. Yeah, that's gonna hit. <laughs> Roll damage. See if you kill this man. Uh with this. Oh, I mean, it is very common to break necks. <laughs> Four. <laughs> Maximum. Four weight. plus Maximum strength. strength. Oh, God. Yeah, that's, plus, that's plus your strength. Seven. All right. Um, Look, you snapped we this man's taking, neck. I thought we were raiding the dungeon, not murdering the adventurers. I, I'm helping I don't someone. mind doing both, Mr. but... You have ten health, so you're fine. He's not dead, but he is definitely not looking good. Yeah, you shattered his collarbone. Uh, probably with, displaced a couple of his ribs. With that. I think with that, him laying on the ground, he probably think best to drunkenly limp off <laughs> along with his friend. Uh, oh. one, of them, one of them shouts, I'll get you for this! Have a good um, <laughs> As he waves them off. As Arby waves a uh, good-natured goodbye. <laughs> I, I stand up and I do that thing where like I dust off my hands. Um... And I, I look at your character, Adam, and um, I, uh, Grim smiles and says, um, "Hi, um, so I sorry if I um, interrupted something. Uh, maybe you wanted to fight them by yourself. They weren't much of a threat. I was just trying to get them off of me." Yeah, yeah. It seems like they were just a couple Joe schmoes. I'm, I'm sure you could, you could have handled yourself. Um, hey, you're a, you're a warforged. Is that? Yeah, uh, 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 warforged is a slur for when back you're, when they're in the place. You're an, you're an automata, right? My, my friend right here is an automata. I see that. Uh, it's, I've never seen two in one place like that before, outside of like you know, industrial shipyards or whatever. From the looks of it, your friend is a bit more advanced in this model. You know, that that's such a weird way to put it. Like, can... Isn't that, like... What are the implications of that? That, like, one model can be more advanced than another, you know? Like, is, does that imply that, like, after a certain age, you just become obsolete? No, there's more to him than there is to me. That's all there is. I, I, okay, I, I think I, I get you. Um, well, you, um, that's just... The name that, is Mentro. Mentro. Um, Mentro. Mentro. Close enough. <laughs> enough. <laughs> my name is, uh, my name's Grim, um, and, uh, and this is Arby. Right. This I'm is the story hurt. of how we became gods. Yo, well, <laughs> that'd be un uncomfortable. Um, what are you doing here? If you if you don't mind me, she leans up against the counter. We're outside. I lean up against the wall. <laughs> it's like fucking, room, that's but... like fucking. That's like fucking. Grew versus a billion Manny when uh. 
or uh, what's the black kid's name? He like goes to lean on the post. Erwin. Erwin, he goes to lean on the light post in front of Mandy, and he just tips over, falls, and he's like, "There used to be a light post here." (laughs) (laughs) I was looking for a place to rest and tinker. Hmm, you're uh, you're a tinkerer. Yes, I am an artificer. Oh, an artificer. Um, do what I know what an artificer is? Yeah, you used to like you are from a uh, upper class family, so you would have known what artificers are. What they did right. Yeah, artificer. I've I've worked with a couple artificers. I know I've known a few, uh, artificers. They're fancy folk. That's a really interesting occupation. Yes, my focus is on this unit. I will like. Have any of you guys ever watched Ruby? Uh, no. Yeah. Well, like season uh, one. So my arm will shift, and essentially the gauntlet that he's wearing is going to shift up and then electrify. Oh, that's really neat. The yellow that's... girl. Yeah. Okay. That's that's really neat. That's. Wow, you know, you know, that's always been super fascinating to me. I'm not smart enough to do that kind of thing, but you know, I think it's really interesting when I see someone who's good at it. I appreciate the compliment. Are are you a uh, are you an ad- adventurer by any means? I haven't decided yet. I am new to this journey. Well, she kind of like looks around for a second. Is anybody listening to us, or is are people just going about their business? Um, it's late at night. Uh, I think that the streets are fairly fairly muted. There might be the occasional walking past, walking home from uh, whatever tavern they got slogged at, but um, it doesn't seem that anybody is listening in on you. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna lean in and I'm gonna say um, well. If you're interested in an adventuring, I got a proposal for you. And what would that be? There's a dungeon of sorts that uh, me and some buddies are looking to clear out. And, you know, the more the merrier, and we're more than happy to give you your own cut. Funds for experiments, that is an agreeable thing. And if I find any magical items I can experiment with. I'll let you keep the magic items. I, I I got enough of mine, you know. Yeah, I'll I'll run it past them in the morning, but I'm sure that they'll be more than happy to meet you. Agreeable. All right. Well, put her there. I'm gonna offer him a handshake. Goes to stick the same hand out. Realizes it's still electrified. Puts the gauntlet back and then shakes your hands. <laughs> it would have been really funny if you like joy buzzard her like right there like it just (laughs) um uh and with that i think Graham is going to go upstairs to go to bed take a rest yeah i will huddle i will do a crouch homeless position outside (laughs) and then shut off yeah um is is rb doing anything in particular RB really quick is going to, right after Grim gives handshake, he's going to reach out really fast, but he doesn't stop himself in time. So he ends up hitting um, the new, why am I forgetting your character's name again, Adam? Minthro. Minthro. And ends up accidentally hitting Minthro with an open hand right to the chest. Hello. That was... Abrupt. Shake. Well, shake his hand. <laughs> How he gets it off the chest. <laughs> you you see that his digital face glitches into a wink. By the way, it happens randomly, and he doesn't have control over why it does that. So it it just winks and then he just walks away. I'll have to examine him at some point. 
with six oh, no. back down. <laughs> oh no. Uh, oh no. Um, I yeah. We have two people who want to examine characters. We got to be careful. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we, uh, that's their portion of the night. Um, Alwyn and um, <laughs> Bricks, you enter the grossest bar that you think you've ever been in. Um, the food is just on the floor. There is a haphazard red-haired woman going from table to table, just completely frazzled and dropping, like, the occasional plate. As uh, the bartender is just leaning back against, like, the shelves where all the alcohol is and uh, just, just leaning back against it and scrubbing a tankard, looks at it, Spits in it, cleans it a little more. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, your rooms are on the upper floor as uh, there is a small rickety staircase in the corner. Oh boy. As we walk in, all when you hear Bricks mutter to himself, I wish I had learned press digitation for my wizard friend. I wish I'd learned press digitation for my wizard friend. <laughs> Cleaning. <laughs> yeah. Um. Well, let's uh go up to the room, I guess, and try and get out of here as soon as possible. Come on. They're going to have sex. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> wait, wait, That's wait, a wait. Own hole. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Fuck I'm you. Hell. <laughs> I'm in hell. Um, thank you for that. Uh, what are you two doing to get ready for bed? Uh, you enter into a small room. The uh, doorknob itself is broken. And uh, you are confronted with a wooden bed frame that seems to have a little bit of hay on it, as well as uh, uh, a cloth over that hay. Well, I want to have fun with that. Give me my bucket. Here you go. The water in the bucket sloshes as you hand it over. Bricks just in plops himself in. Uh, and before he, like, fully starts to drift off, in his head, he's just gonna, like, just one train of thought is just kind of running through his head. Just like... What does Rob want? And he's just kind of broadcasting that in his head, almost as like a way of trying to get an answer. Because he knows he has a connection with this, you know, deity of some description. Mm -hmm. So he's almost trying to get an answer from them. All right. As he's like um, drifting off. <clears throat> yeah. Um, Alwyn, are you doing anything special for resting? Are you actually going to sleep or are you just going to idle pose for like four hours? We're going to have to idle pose for like four hours. Don't trust any fuckers here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. fair enough. Yeah. All right. Um, a new dawn rises, and as is typical for the city, uh, the sunlight doesn't reach down until about maybe around 10 o'clock. Uh, but uh, on the upper levels where you are, uh, you do get sunlight a bit early, around 9 o'clock. And we see small vignettes of uh, children running around in the streets, playing with hoops on sticks, uh, a young girl sitting on the uh, steps with a... <laughs> Another playing with their dolls. A men talking business in front of carts. Um, as well as some more expeditionary forces uh, from the Adventurers Guild coming into town. Um, you awake to a new day. Uh, the tavern is just as gross as when it was uh, open. But uh, now that they have stopped serving uh, harder drinks, it is uh, more... 
oh, what's the word? Amendable scene. You're not uh, bombarded with grossness all around as uh, this um, <laughs> young, uh, I'd say maybe her mid 30s, um, looks at you as you uh, come down the stairs and uh, pulls out a small little. Uh, little tablets to write um, orders on this uh, little chalkboard and uh, she says uh, are you staying for uh, breakfast? No bricks do you need to eat? Bricks just like you would have seen bricks just like munching on some beef jerky that he still had in his pack before <laughs> leaving the room Oh, we won't be staying for breakfast. My apologies. All right. As she um, walks on over and uh, behind into the kitchen and uh, walks out with a couple of others. I assume you two are heading over to Moonlight, Lan uh, Moonlight Lantern. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Moonlight Lantern. Where did the comic go? Yep. Yeah, uh, you head all over to the moon. Um, Miss Lepidoff, uh is, <laughs> uh, you know, tending to uh, most of the other patrons, uh, handing out food with one set of arms while uh, still taking orders with the other set of arms. It's um, not the busiest that you've seen here, but clearly uh, this place does have a pretty good influx of uh, money. Um, what about uh, you three? What are you doing uh, this fine morning? I would go up to the bar. All right. Uh, All right, dear. Uh, what can I get for you? Uh, Mrs. Lepidop, uh steps around the counter uh, behind the bar. We don't serve any hard liquors this early in the morning. We... Uh, if you need any ale or, gr or grog, just let me know. Do you have any That's... tea? Oh, yes. Uh, coming up. Uh, she walks over um, to a small uh, hatch in the floor and steps down into it. Uh, and a couple minutes later, you see her <laughs> come up with... Uh, not only a uh, tea kettle that is just freshly whistling, as well as more orders of food where this is the kitchen down beneath the actual tavern itself. Straight from the creature, thank you. And, um, yeah, I'm going to take... What kind of tea is it? Uh, go ahead, give it a sip. I, I sip. I sip. <laughs> I sip. Aggressively. Um, it is a... Blood orange black tea. A very tart, but not overbearing. There is a nice floral taste to it. I'm really glad I'm a dragon because I love I just I just love tart things. Um tartness and bitterness. Very fun. Uh and then I'm gonna wait for Alwyn and then So I'd like to uh, point out that only one of our uh, party members can actually drown. Um, so we should just travel underwater for like the rest of the campaign. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that seems like the smart idea. Yeah. Uh, I would also like to order. <laughs> mm -hmm. What can I get, Jan? Can I get one scrambled egg, please? Coming up, uh, she uh puts down a full plate of eggs for you. So walks out from behind the bar and hands out a couple more orders. You Wait, like, how, how big of a plate of eggs? Yeah. A plate the size for a medium-sized creature. You know, like, they cracked three chicken eggs into it. Ah, I asked for one. Okay, I will put what I need into the hatch on top of my head, and then I will leave the rest and offer it to my compatriot that does eat. You have a right. compatriot? Uh, doesn't... I know James's character doesn't eat, but doesn't, uh... 
Yeah. Grim. You, Sean. Grim. You're the compatriot Grim. that eats. I'm, I'm the compatriot that eats. I've been trying to watch my figure. Um, <laughs> I so, am the one who is. I am the one who is. I, I've been thicker trying to watch my oatmeal. figure as of late. Um, oh. I'm, yeah, I'm thicker than oatmeal. I am, I am literally thicker than oatmeal. I'm we'll talk thick. about that later, Sean. Um, yeah, I just, you know. Um, hmm. It is a shame to let the eggs go to waste. Yeah, yeah, but you know, trying to lose weight. You know, is, is this about the time we get in there? Yeah, this is about the time that you get into it. You just see me holding a plate of eggs towards... What, which one are you? Are you the Dragonborn? Yes. Yes, okay. I'm the Dragonborn. Um, yeah. Um, oh, there's the rest of our party right there. Um, are you going to eat that? Owen, I found someone else who wants to join us. Are you going to ah, eat that? Very good. I will uh, hand the eggs off. You just watch he grabs the plate, tilts his mouth open like a Pez dispenser, and then just dumps it all in there, and then his mouth just shuts. Make sure to get all of it. Uh, uh, happy plates, Bricks. Happy plates. The massive hmm. tongue just slips out and just licks the entire <laughs> plate in one lick. Uh, good job. Good morning, Less so child. Less trash. More interesting creatures. <laughs> creatures. Uh, I'm just a human, sir. No creature here. A very, very um, great human, if, if I do say so myself. Yes, yes. Uh, thank you so much. I do also think I'm great. Ah, so you, you said you want to join us. Uh, what is your name? Mintro. Mint. 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 Uh, Mintro, like the cycle. <laughs> so... Oh my god. Awful, thank you. God oh, damn you, it, guys. guys. What are with <laughs> these fucking jokes? That My so god, you all are on something tonight. Uh, oh. We set the bar low oh, and period. constantly underperform. The bar was low, but here you are tip, uh, fucking limboing with the devil or some shit like that. Where, the fuck <laughs> Where did you guys get these shovels? We've already gone past two layers of bedrock. Damn. <laughs> uh, <man. laughs> uh, uh, sir, Miss uh, Automaton, uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Mithro, I'll, I can't, I don't know. Mithro, what, what, what is your, what are your pronouns? They, them, I would assume. I do you, uh, do you have? You the... can call me whatever you like. I will. Oh, I want to shut work? up. I want to <laughs> shut up. You're, you're digging yourself a hole. Yes. Uh, anyway, uh, what is it you, uh, is your profession, you'd say? I am a tinkerer. Yes. So, you'd be able to fix our other automaton friend. I am interested in to see what is wrong with it. Perfect. What's wrong with me? We're trying to figure that out. Anyway. <laughs> oh, God. Damn. <laughs> Ow. Uh, Though, ah, Bricks, no, no comments from you. We're trying to figure you out, too. There's a lot of, this whole group we're trying to We out. already know what's wrong with me. And I want it fixed, so we need to go find where those imps took the thing. So we're working and what on. is wrong with you? I was, uh, I was quote-unquote blessed by the god of chaos. Now, any time, well, honestly, just randomly, stuff will just kind of happen. Like, I forgot how to use stairs yesterday. Um, the time before that, I summoned a water weird. Um, the time before that, I think, let's see. I can't remember what happened before that, but I, some notable things. I made a one mile area, a goblin, holy land, turned a couple people immortal, turned a couple people inside out. I hate goblins. Goblins. It's like, goblins. it's like magical dementia. Yes. Though, so, uh, we all have our problems here, but in this little fine ragtag group we have, but we have to go screw over those in, that, uh, uh, Shh. you know, Shh. 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 goblins got, we have to screw over some goblins because goblins are bad. Yes. I will uh, happily fry some goblins. 
a goblin walks by looking at you in horror <laughs> as he sits down with his needle. I always yeah. forget that they're uh, people now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and you just grandpa. feel a fist <laughs> slam onto the top of your helmet. Oh god! One of my I best friends goblin, was a goblin. Okay. Ah, uh, yes, I speak goblin. Goblins are jovial creatures most of the time. <laughs> How tall are most of the people here? Because my character's only five foot. I'm um, seven foot. There's oh, a shit. wide range of... <laughs> yeah, there's I'm a wide six. range here. I'm six yeah. one. Like six two, six three. Two feet. I'm not the shortest. I'm not the shortest. Yeah, no three feet, feet is over there, so... No, two so. feet. Mm -hmm. Two feet, my bad. I'm tiny. Okay. As you all yeah. are getting acquainted, you see a quite disheveled looking uh, dwarf trot down the stairs, um, looking quite pleased with himself, but a little embarrassed. Uh, a wrinkled clothes and uh, hair all over the place. Uh, he uh, steps down the stairs and walks out. Huh. What's that Can we... you're doing? Can we watch? I should a... probably fix my HP and all that stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. You guys have all had long rest. So can we like wait two minutes to see someone walks down after him? I mean, sure, yeah. So I also uh... want to follow him. The point that the fact that you pointed that out is very uh, suspicious. I, oh, I imagine I like I hear Alwyn muttering to himself, like, "Do do we follow them? Do we not?" I'm just thinking. Alwyn, he's, he, he doesn't care. Because uh, if he's okay. muttering, then you just hear Bricks mutter to you. I can I can have Baba follow him. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sure. Yeah. Have, you, oh, have oh. you made a new Bubba? Uh As far as I know, Bubba hasn't died yet. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, he wasn't in that fight. Who's yeah. Bubba? Uh, ah, you'll see in a second. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. You you Go ahead. you watch as uh, a dragonfly that was probably perched in the rafters just kind of fly down and out the door. That is a big ass bug. It's bigger than bricks. Arby yeah. starts chasing after it. Leave it. Like a fucking dog. Leave it. Leave it. Leave. Ouch, ouch, let go. Open your ouch, mouth. Ouch. Open your mouth. <laughs> Uh, yeah, about two minutes later, uh, you see the color first, audaciously pink, walk down the stairs as Cat looks very pleased with themselves as uh, they walk down. Of course it was you. you. Of course it was you. Who was it? The guy who gave you the, uh, uh, Cat, oh. uh oh. Castiel, uh, he, he uh, was the one who gave you the tickets to the boat, right? Yeah, yeah. I heard pink. I wanted to make sure that it was him. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> I applaud yeah. you. I applaud you. As so as soon as Briggs he sees looks... him come down, he just calls back Bubba. He yeah. looks at you um, and smiles, uh, a big grin, and says, ah, "Perfect. I don't have to go anywhere. Uh, you seem to have gotten one more." Yeah. Who are you? Two more. This... Um, Three more. This would be the guy that, before you actually started your campaign, had been giving you quests. Uh, hmm. RB and uh, Grim. Yeah. So, this is a uh, cat. Bit of a uh, job giver for us. We do odd jobs for them now and again. Hmm. Come near, come near. He motioned. Uh, to a, a table in the corner. Can I not? Down here. <laughs> You're gonna want to hear this. As he uh, has a seat. Oh, Miss... <laughs> oh, Melida, can you give me we a got cup of uh, coffee? Oh my god. How'd you do that? Uh, right click. Huh? As you're moving, you can uh, right-click to certain locations. It will give you a distance meter, and it will allow you to like move in zigzags and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's for a more accurate movement. Yeah, why not? 
<laughs> it did not work for me. Wait, how does that work? How does that work? Oh, oh, right? Oh, right, right click. Yeah. Boom. 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 Sad critic. Kind of like the DM whenever they shift and they do this, they can actually make everyone look at what they're wanting to look at. Yep. Okay, Sean. I love knowing little tricks. Sean, yeah. we are on. We are live. No. Oh. Wait, what were you doing? <laughs> I was just making a. Doesn't it was matter. A very uh... Path I was taking. It's 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 meta. You wouldn't understand it. It's a phallic <laughs> symbol. I've seen it. Nah. Don't say uh, that word. Uh, don't say, uh, don't uh, say uh, that uh, word. So, anyway, do you all make your way to the table in the corner? Of course. For yeah. cat? Yeah, any day. Okay. <laughs> all right. Um, well, I've got a little inquiry. Um, how much dungeoneering have either of you done? Uh, a little bit. Uh, quite a bit. Uh, I've dabbled. Um, some of which we, I did with the military, so it's well taught, well trained into me. Hmm. Which military? Ah, uh, the the mercenary. Ooh, I don't remember my own mercenary group's name. <laughs> we it's a group under John S. It's not. They're not like a big thing or anything. Hmm. Well, regardless, uh. I'm sure you were conscripted by the Adventure Guild of Ford. So, I need you to uh, go out and do a little task for me. Uh, you're my courier service, after all. Um, and especially since my last courier's died in a quite gruesome accident. Uh, but I, <laughs> I need you all to go to... Black I had it written down. The Black Blue Falls Barrow. Um, <laughs> I need you to go to. Uh, well, here, let me write it on the map. It's it's close to uh, Wago, but uh, just right outside the Starfall Fields. He really just said, "Let me mark it on your map." Right outside the Starfall Fields. Isn't that where the, the Starfall okay, yeah. Fields is? Um, an area. It, it's we, an... we went through it. Yeah. Yes, you have. I mean, well, almost through it. It's a very large area. It's the southern portion of the plains that uh, has formed strange uh, topography, as most of the uh, area is cratered. There's a lot of myths around it, uh, surrounding it. About uh, it's a famous site where uh, the stars fell and. Uh, some even claim to be, uh, claim it's where the uh, gods landed to Earth, but eh, also, what did they know? Also, um, isn't that where they said that the dungeon was that the the Adventurers Guild is looking into? Or yes, that, that, that is, is exactly where we're going. Perfect, flawless. Yeah. But 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 we didn't we didn't know until you drew it on the map. No better gaming. <laughs> I got the information from uh, that lovely man that just went downstairs. Now, my question is, this is quite the dungeon. Um, again, this is Adventurer's Guild business, and I need you to go in for a very specific thing. Something that's the Adventurer's Guild will. What's the... Uh... What's the what's the ranking on the dungeon? Uh, I only go with solo leveling terms for it, so <laughs> I can't. I couldn't tell you the. I need to read that. that. that oh uh, God. Um. I need anyways. to read solo leveling. Yeah. Um, what is it? It's like ranked in like dragon, tiger, and stuff, right? I can't remember. Uh, monsters. Anyway, monsters are yes. The dungeons are like A through whatever. Hmm. Yeah. Anyways. So, I need you to grab me a very particular... You two, you grabbed me a book earlier. Um, you see, it's speculated that this is a long, 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 
Lost Library. No. Sorry. The, the book of bad were... jokes that we got them. Oh yeah, uh, you weren't there for that. No, you. Uh, the package was a joke. Was it? Yeah, it was a fucking yeah, joke book. Grade. Is that where the, all these jokes are coming from today? <laughs> no, this no. this was like the bad, bad, like the stuff you tell to five year olds to get them to laugh type jokes. Yeah. He, uh, he, uh, a, a lot. Um, he says, I need you to grab me the codex of that library. It's said to be a living grimoire or something of the lot. It's very messy speculation, but one thing's for certain, it should be some kind of library. Hmm. Research material. You have my interest. No boats this time. No. Uh, Only boat you're taking is the gravy tray. <laughs> the gravy boat as you uh, receives oh. a, uh, a plate of um, of uh, biscuits and gravy from uh, Melina Lepitop. As uh, this like, moth woman, <laughs> this Brit large moth woman sets down a plate. Brix's hands just kind of go and grip onto his fucking antennas, and he's just like... <laughs> rip one out! All I gotta do is rip one out, and something Don't. might happen. I'm, I'm sorry, Chief. Those aren't antennas. Those are gills. gills. That's how you breathe. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> that's, so, yeah. that's a big problem if you tear one of them out. <laughs> It'll regrow. I've got five more. Anyways. So, what do you all say? They might make good components. Components? Anything else? Over. I'm down to screw over the guild any day. <laughs> you well, and me both. You have connections, right? To get information? There has to be different ways. Um, I've got some connections. I mostly am going off of research material. I could send you to a... Um, a friend of mine, um, a Mr. Bell thing, usually is pretty well versed in the area. So, is it, didn't we just get done saving? Yeah, him? we just saved him. So, We're being turned into a meat puppet. Okay. Bad. Anyways, bad. um, yeah, I think it'd be great. I cut out and came back on meat puppet. <laughs> yeah, like I said, that sounds bad. That sounded bad. Anyway, uh, we I don't think we need to bother that family too much more. I'm sure we can get in, get out without with very little fucking about. Get in, get out, quit fucking about, said Barnacle Bill. Very little fucking about. All right, let's get this over minimal, with. Minimal fucking about, you know? Very minimum. Uh, None. Ah, Mithro, analysis. Uh, calculations on how much fucking about it may take minimum. <laughs> I don't have any data on any of you. Ah, fair <laughs> enough. Well, you're gonna find out. Let's go. Yay! All right. It's um, logistics you know, time. Let's Great. Just to let you know, Aaron, I am going to dip in half an hour. Um, half an hour. Okay. Half an hour, so... Um, yeah, logistics time, my favorite part of D&D. Logi duty, let's go! I suck at math. Box hole all over again. I'm gonna box your hole, I mean, what? Box hole, not box hole, you weird. No. Oh yeah, also, Alwyn 100% has no clue that, uh, your character, Graham, hits, is, like, hitting on him at all. I He's know, that's, it's funny. I enjoy this. Absolutely. Yeah, all right. This is a great dynamic. Meanwhile, Bricks As knows you, all of it and hates it. As you look into, uh, actually traveling, it seems to be about a hundred mile journey. So, that's a week. Week and a half, actually. Just to get there? Uh, that's walking, by the way. Okay. You can we actually have money now, those... though! Yeah. You can go through the process of buying a mount. Did, you can go get through... paid for the book delivery. What about a carriage? Don't we already have a carriage with the... 
No, we rented that carriage. We rented everything. Yeah, we had rented everything. Uh, we had gotten ten platinum. You and me had gotten ten platinum pieces, Noah. Okay. Um, that's ten each, by the way. Yeah. 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 Uh, so I'll give you about two days to prepare. Is there any gold that you need up front for payments of uh, equipment or anything? This will be coming out of your final. However much we need to rent a uh, wagon yeah. and a and a mount for well, we do, the we do do time to get there and back. We do maybe do quite a bit of walking. How about we actually buy one this time? Yeah, at maybe, least a mount. Maybe investing well, in an actual. For, well, we need to figure out how much that is. We've only ever seen renting. That is true. We will be back. We'll, we'll be we'll, here yeah. romancing any more of the adventurers around here. He uh, leans up against the table and says, Am I going to romance anyone? Yes. Just so I know where to find you. Yes, I'll be around the tavern. I've got some business to do with uh, some colleagues around noon, but that's about it. Yeah, business, all right. You don't want to know, Arby. Anyway. I don't think this is an ordinary romance thing. It's no. not. Let's get out before they show up. It sounds fun. Yeah, let's just let's get going. The quicker the the, the better. All right, Ought to, to the stables. Board. Yeah. Um. Yeah, right. You all head up. Out. We're not having the same mistake as last time of arguing over the price of a horse, a bird. It was a bird. I want that yes. bird back. Um, I'm actually good at math. By the way, <laughs> and so. I believe we calculated it out. It's about the. It's actually the same amount of days uh, for uh, the uh, for renting, which last time turned out to be what 150 gold uh, yeah. with a uh, 50 gold uh, down Definitely. payment. Yeah. Um, and I believe last time we discussed it's around 500 gold to just straight up buy a mount. Yep, I want that bird back. That same I want that exact same bird. I don't I remember do. it personally, but Sean does. <laughs> uh, Alwyn remembers that bird. He does not remember its name, but he remembers that bird. Oh, All right, whoever some, it was like it. corn or some shit. It was like cray. Not corn. Cran? No. Nope. Start with a K. I'm pretty sure it started with a K or a C or something like that. Am I at least oh, right in that? Stream. You're, you're close. Anyways. Um... Was it just Cra? Cra. It was, it was like Cra, right? Cra. Yeah. Craw. Yeah. Craw, that's yeah, right. it was yeah, close. Because you could speak with animals. Anyways. <laughs> um, <clears throat> let's see. So, yes, in the stables, there is currently um, two horses and three Mount Ptarmigans, uh, which, if you don't know, are a kind of bird native to uh, plains and other regions. Uh similar to uh or close to mountain ranges uh with tall grass um i think you can find a picture in lore of the land at the very top yeah and they're like giant chickens <laughs> kind of yeah um they're a lot faster Chocobos. Chocobos. They're, they're a lot faster than uh mount by horse but they are far weaker um <laughs> um so yeah, that's. But they're also uh, cheaper. If, if you want to, it yeah, that is true. They are cheaper. But uh, if you want to buy a uh, horse, that's uh, seven hundred fifty gold. But one twenty. Okay. Uh, Arby's gonna buy a horse. Oh whoa 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 chill 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 chill. Chill. We're getting craw. We're getting we're getting a bird <laughs> mount to pull We're our getting cart. craw. There is yeah, no. We're... We're, we're getting a cart, basically. So, how mm -hmm. how much is the combo for the bird and the and a cart? Um, you're right at the stables. Uh, there's a uh, a man who's uh, leaning up, uh, who has clearly just got done feeding uh, the animals, and um, he says, <clears throat> "Yeah, for um, if you actually want to buy one, I could." Throw in the cart, maybe for well, cheap, maybe twenty-five gold. So to buy the cart, 
it's 25. About 10 gold. And then for the bird, it's going to be 500. Yeah, that's yeah. about the going price. I, I like, grab his hand, pull it down, slap five platinum and 50 gold in his hand. <laughs> his eyes light up. <laughs> the <people laughs> Peasants don't usually see platinum. They maybe see it once in their life. Wait, why are we giving him platinum? Five, so we five can get five the horse and carry hundred gold. Yeah, a horse? Uh, so we're getting crawl. No. We're, we're crawl, getting we're the getting bird. Crawl. The I horse know. is seven hundred and fifty. I meant I. Okay, listen. I'm using horse interchangeably. Fuck you. <laughs> that's your own problem. That that's his problem. We are getting the bird and we're getting the cart. And the cart, and all in total... I should also preface, um... Cat would only pay for uh, a rental, not an actual purchase. Yeah, I'm just... I'm just... Rather have it than not have it, yeah, I yeah, get it. I'm just dropping everything. To travel is a big deal. Yeah. Yeah. Like, if nothing else, we can just ask for the rental, like, at a later... Like, it, we can just have that all lumped into the net sum later. Yep. Like I, I have all current casting components I need, and so I don't have to worry about that. Mm hmm. Oh yeah, we are using components. We're Sorry, using. So. Uh, um, oh, I'm only having you use. Like, uh, if there is a spell that says uh, 500 diamond, you only need to make a purchase of 500. Diamonds. Um. Yeah. So things like Revivify, uh, Micromatic Orb, things like that have a material cost of a certain gold amount. And so that we have to pay. But other than that, nothing else. Yep. Um, so there's also discussions of rations. Do you guys want to buy health potions? Anybody want to buy equipment or anything like that? Uh, Man, how many days are we theory. planning on being gone? Um, Pat gave you a day and a half to, uh, go ahead and get prepared. And so, we're going to be gone for... Almost it, two it, weeks, actually. So, oh, okay, it, then I need more. By practice. foot, by foot, it's a oh, yeah. hundred and fifty or so mile trip. That On foot, that's about two weeks. Um, a week is five days in this world. Um, let's see. Uh, on Tarmigan's back, that's only a uh, that's a two day, two and a half day trip there. But uh, is I that believe. considering a cart? No, nope, not two and a half days. Uh, my bad. It's it's four I days. I so eight round uh, trip. That uh, I am gonna need a handful more rations. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Um. How people eat. Round day, uh, round trip. It's an eight day travel, eight days of travel, and that's not considering the time. Dungeoneering. Yeah, yeah I'll buy. Also... I'll buy a round of rations for myself. So four days. Um, how much? How many rations a day? Uh, it's only one ration a day, which the amount of food that they say is a ration for a day is incredibly small. Yeah. They say like a small loaf of bread and an apple is a ration for a day. Yeah. But it's yeah. it's about well, it comes out to actually about two pounds per ration. Yeah. So I am gonna buy eight rations for myself. Okay. Uh, I would buy about ten more rations for myself. Okay. I'm gonna um, buy five for more. each ration it is it is uh ten silver for a ration. So that's 50 silver. Here, specifically. It gets cheaper if you go to different... Uh, this Wait. is a big city. There's a huge upcharge. Wait. 10 silver, so 1 gold? Uh, it stays 100 to 100 to 100 here. Oh, we're so using 5.3. Or 3.5 yeah. money. Okay. Yep. And then... um, Because I don't... <laughs> I don't fuck with Electrum. I'm sorry, Chief. I'm not uh, touching that no with a ten foot no pole. One fucks the yeah. <laughs> okay. Um why do I still need that? Oh shit, I forgot about that. Can I can I find like some some healing potions and just buy like two or three healing potions? 
I have the info. Uh, yeah, no, you can go ahead and find a small, oh, what is it called? An alchemist shop that is uh, selling healing potions. So, it's a, uh, in the uh, Arcanum district, a uh, level of the city, uh, basically dedicated to uh, the pursuit of knowledge. There's a small university here as well. Um, there is, uh, surrounded by a couple back alleys, there is a small building crammed into uh, one of these alleys that resembles a wizard's tower. Like, it, it looks like a small parapet protruding from the alley. Um, and uh, there is a small female halfling um, carving runes into a piece of inside. And a small uh, half-elven woman, alchemist, sitting out front at the uh, counter. Uh, it's, it's a... Um, the shop itself is uh, facing outward like there's a counter in the, the the side of the building where people come and go it kind of like a uh, like a uh, a restaurant like a food truck kind of all right yeah. how much does a how much does it just like a lesser healing cost uh do 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 superior do 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 uh, i should say that you can also get like better healing potions if you'd like yeah i want to get like a couple lesser healing potions and then like one uh one greater healing potion all right let me find the price again because your boy has tabs lots yeah. of tabs the dm struggle of tabs so many fucking I tabs that. i feel that though a million fucking tabs of everything. And you don't want to close any of them in case you have to come back to them. Oh yeah, it's it's the worst feeling. And then if you do close one of them, you always end up having to come back for it and having to just open up another tab. It's it's a never ending cycle. It could be its own Papa's Pizzeria game. Alright, so um, a lesser healing potion is going to run you about. I gotta use the Metropolis multiplier. Uh -huh. uh, you know, the, it, so in sizes of cities, you have to kind of like in real life. The bigger a city is, things you usually tend to cost more. So, uh, with this, this lesser healing potion is going to cost you a. It is two hundred. Uh, gold for the greater or lesser the uh lesser healing potion a, a common a, a, a regular healing potion like a, a common level healing potion is just like 50 gold um the lesser healing potion cost so i i don't i assume when you say lesser healing potion are you meaning like just the base level yeah base level Okay, that's fifty gold. Okay, all right. Um, I'll take, healing. I'll take uh, two of those. Okay. Um, uh, lesser healing potions are two d four plus two. Perfect. And uh, what does a greater healing potion cost? Oh, uh, ah, uh, probably a lot. Ooh, yeah. Memento. Graders are expensive. That's what I'd imagine. You said the lessers were 2d4 plus 2? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so a greater... And a 200 is, gold? A greater is going to run you 200 gold. That's what I was... No. Oh. That's what I was saying is the lesser healing potion earlier. Because okay. Because I didn't know so, how you were... And I'll take, a, so I'll take a greater the, healing potion, too. The tiers, the tiers they're going in is uh, just a regular healing potion. Healing potion. Greater healing potion, superior healing potion, and a supreme healing potion. Yeah. How much so, is a supreme? Uh, that'll run you Your about a thousand and uh, what is it? Nope, not adding the multiplier. Uh, that's going to run you. That's going to run you seventeen hundred gold. <laughs> Your house. Okay. It's going to run house. you fucking house. 
Yeah, no, that's that's pretty accurate. So the the greater is 200 gold, the lesser is 50 gold. How much does the greater heal for? Uh, 44, I think. I believe it's 44 plus 4. I might be wrong about that. Here, let me... Uh, yeah, greaters are 44 plus yep, 4. Yep, 44 plus 4. And then Supremes run at 8d4 plus 8. Yep. All right. So... Can I... Hmm... I, I listen to way too many D&D podcasts. Same. Welcome to a club. Um, Not saying. Is anybody getting anything else specific? Components that yeah, are I, a specific I, spell? or? I wanted to get some healing potions too. I want to get four lesser healing potions and two greater. Oh, you're okay. stacking up. So um, that's... What, 400, 500 gold? I do want to... Uh, 600. I do want to make sure right. that everybody here knows um, that if you are a spellcaster of any kind, any component that has a gold cost associated with it needs to be bought. Yeah. So, look through your spells so, like... first. Before we start buying up, like using all your golden oh, potions. Yeah, that's actually a good point. I need yeah. to buy a uh, pearl. Yeah. Like if you have gold. good berry, you need a sprig of uh, mistletoe. Yeah. Good berry is consumable though. Yes. Non negotiable here, chief. Yeah. Well, that, that balance it trivializes. It trivial. Uh, good berry just trivializes any kind of survival scenarios. Exactly. Yeah. So it needs to have some cost to it. Um. Anyways. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, no, uh, Mint is gonna head to a small little, uh, jewel shop. I think it's gonna be the same jewelry shop Briggs went to to get his diamond. Um, and a, an elven woman comes out looking a little tired and, uh, I don't know, is Bricks here? You did make a promise. Oh, yeah, I did make a promise to come back here at some point. Uh, yeah, Bricks. Specifically specifically to advertise but um I, yeah i think quick. i think yeah bricks would have like as soon as he heard like any of them needed that kind of components he would have just immediately grabbed them by like the pant leg and just started tugging um all right so i guess i am going this way yeah, yeah sean uh just real quick um i know i said half an hour but i got everything that i want to get before we start traveling and I don't want to leave in the middle, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna dip while I'm ahead. Um, if okay. okay. You don't um, want to buy any kind of equipment? No, I th I think I got everything. Um, okay. And uh, yeah, all right. I love you guys. Great session. I'll yeah, talk to you guys okay. later. Later. Bye. Bye. Have fun. All righty. Um, Man, fuck that guy. <laughs> <laughs> what, what an absolute douche. douche. Exactly. Anyways, um, yeah, no. There is the same elven woman, uh, desperate for any kind of business. Is it's kind of clear that her um, her uh, jewelry shop is being a little neglected, but that's mostly because of um, about the competition. It, it, oh. It's mostly about competition. She's not getting as much business, and she's clearly stressing about uh, paying bills and such. And uh, yeah, he, uh, she is um, just kind of looking expectantly at this uh, new customer. Hello. Mm -hmm. I say that I followed. Uh, would you want any kind of commission? I need yes, a you... pearl worth 100 gold. She kind of uh, <laughs> looks a little disappointed. Oh, uh, yeah, uh... What's the purpose for it? Bell component. Hmm. <laughs> she looks even more disappointed. All right. Uh, she walks over to a small tray underneath the uh, jeweler's um, 
a counter and pulls out a tray full of uh, gems meant specifically for spellcasting. Um, all right, that'll run you about uh, 100 gold. Um, Aaron, while this is yeah. happening, can I look around and see if anything yeah. catches my eye? Sure, yeah. Uh, go ahead, roll me a... Uh, just a perception check. I'm also curious about something. Can I just cast Detect Magic? Is there anything in here? Um, yeah. Uh, it's a... She's gonna notice you, uh, starting to cast a spell. Uh, uh, it does have something. It take, uh, takes cover behind the, uh, counter, but as soon as she... Thanks, you're a terrorist. Good job. As soon as she doesn't hear any kind of explosion and just sees you looking around, uh, she stands back up. Uh, Let people you, know you when you're gonna cast the... something, bud. <laughs> are, you, are you gonna buy the, the, the pearl, or... or... <laughs> Do you just... Yes, uh, I will... <laughs> I will go off to the side and I will just start counting out the 100 gold for. Uh, yeah, with the detect magic, you do see a couple um, couple pieces of jewelry that uh, light up. Um, most of them are just clearly enchanted. Um, and uh, what was your roll for? Perception? Perception 20. 20. Yeah. Nice. I'm on a hot streak tonight. <laughs> Yeah, for a first. Um, yeah, no, uh, you kind of see the same rings, vague magical aura about them. Um, there's a ring that seems to have a vague, and this is going for you, uh, a vague semblance that it would just be a kind of protection. Um, he, again, just determining something is magical, different using the spell identifier. Uh, but um, you get a vague sense that uh, this one, this one ring looks like it's uh, vaguely protection based, and you get to look at a, a small pearl necklace. Uh, not necessarily extravagant, uh, and it doesn't look super expensive, as there are runes carved into the pearls. Um, it, it it looks expensive, but uh, you. It, I mean, it, it doesn't look expensive as, expensive as probably, like, you know, the diamond collar uh, there behind the counter. Um, let's see. Uh, there is also a ring that has a vague sense of... The, you get kind of a warmth that comes from it. I'm going to look yeah. over at the shopkeep, and I'm just going to be like, um, these uh, pieces over here, do you happen to know what uh, like what each of them does? They seem to be magical to some degree. She uh, walked oh. over after uh, making the exchange of gold that I assume make for Pearl, uh, pulls it out. Um, I... I don't have uh, anybody who can cast identify on this, but uh, I am right it, here. It is. <laughs> oh, you can. Oh, that is why uh... I bought the pearl. <laughs> well, go on. Perfect. Go ahead. I yeah. Uh, I'm not spending my last two spell slots on this, so I will ritual cast it. <laughs> okay. Uh, I. How do you cast this? Um. You know, magical very... fiber. Oh, okay. Uh, it is. I put the pearl inside the helmet, and then the eyes will shift color for a second, and then it will. I will just see a text in front of me, telling me what this Read. item does. Yeah, isekai screen. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> And then after it's all done, the pearl just pops out of my forehead. Um, yeah. Uh, by the way, that's reusable. That's like you spend the gold yeah. once you can keep casting it. Yeah, um, wait, hold on. Popped out of your forehead? Yeah, I've got this oh, like, little yeah. golden uh, uh, like hatch that comes up and down. And yeah. then whenever it 
is done, it just pops open and it just shoots back out into my hand. Okay, I was confused. I forgot you were an automaton for a second. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. I'm an automaton. But yeah. <laughs> Yay. Anyways, um, yeah. Uh, you see that that light little display that comes over. Uh, you see uh, the words Ring of Dexterity. Um, wearing it adds a plus one to your dex. Okay. Uh, that uh, I should specify a plus one to your dex means the 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 like the numbers that you would add during a level, up, not like yeah, the, the straight stat, up not the one. not the modifier. Yep. But if your dexterity is on the limit, you know, then you do go up the modifier by one. Yeah, that is true. Which that actually does interest me because I'm on the limit. I, I, I'm also on the limit of being pushed to a... Uh... No, I'm not. I'm at eight. Never mind. Yeah. I'm at my limit. <laughs> oh. Give me the ring of intelligence, though? Game over. Yeah. Uh, I assume we kind of go through the motions for this. You know. Uh, identifying yeah, for the everything. other three. Um, yeah, the ring that uh, had a one to it... Uh, it gives you access to the cantrip firebolt. Huh. Whoop de doo. Useless to me. Yep. Specifically once per day. But uh and again, that when it comes to being able to cast spells through magical artifacts, you need to have some kind of spell casting ability to begin with. Yep. Uh so no How not much? just any Joe Schmo can pick up a you know a ring and start casting magic. Um, I can. No and... with some fireballs for you. Oh, is it? <laughs> and uh, the pearl necklace with runes in it. Uh, it has three charges of shield. Ooh. Oh, shit. Uh, How much is that? Yeah, those, those charges of shield, it, you have identified. It'll tell thing about the spell. Yeah, no, those are like one-time uses of uh, shields. Uh, it's consumable. Uh, yep. Uh, I will not just say this out loud. After I am done, I did find all three of the magic items. I will tell bricks. Was, wasn't there a fourth? Like, didn't she also say like a diamond choker was magical? I, I said that there was an expensive diamond choker. Not that it was magical. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, oh, boy. Come here, kitten. So, how much are My each bad. of Gross. these? My bad. Well, uh, let's see. Which one first? Uh, I point to the ring of decks. And, uh, like I said, I did not say this out loud. She still doesn't know what they do. Yeah. We do. Mm -hmm. uh, that one, uh, that's an authentic shell drink that will run you about 350 gold. Okay, and then I point to the Firebolt uh, ring. Uh, that one is an unknown maker, uh, but it does seem to have quite power gripped on it, so it's about 200 gold. And the shield necklace. Uh, that one I made myself. I'm very fond of it. I commissioned the enchantment. Uh, I made that... Uh, that is around 700 gold. Okay. You can miss it, commission them to make a magic item and she doesn't know what it does? That's what I'm saying. Well, she was specifically talking about rings. Yeah, oh. the, the rings she didn't know, but the necklace she does. Um, oh. I should have been more precise about yeah. that. My bad. Anyways. So the the dex ring is 350. And the firebolt ring is 200? Uh, yes. Okay. And again, haggling is always an option. Yes. Um, if you, if I, but sorry, I, you know, I think Bricks that. kind of feels sorry for this woman to a degree. Haggle, haggle, haggle. <laughs> so, so you'll pay full price, right? Yeah, he's... <laughs> yeah, he's gonna pay... A force of like, chaos. He's gonna buy the, uh, the uh, Dex ring for the 350. Okay, yeah. 
You do so. Uh, hand over that 350 gold. Yep. So that'll take... Are you going to buy anything or try and haggle uh, for anything, Adam? So that... I've spent quite a bit of money already. I, I get it, but, you know... It, it's not going to get you everywhere. <laughs> hey, what's left over? Uh, what are bricks by? Uh, the, the shield necklace and the fire bolts are ring. Okay. So, um, let's see. Don't get me wrong, the shield necklace sounds great, but... Is there a, is there a shop anywhere to that will, like enchant things for you or like socket enchanted gems into weapons for you um so kind of the way enchantment works is something is made with an enchantment it's Damn, not like okay. it's not yeah, like you later. have yeah it's not something that you have later you so forge anyone, something with the intent of it being are there any you give me there? enough time i can do it yeah yeah is there any like smithies we have around here that will make me a custom weapon uh, you really don't like that uh, plus one sword that you have? I do, sad. but I also want a magical weapon. It that plus one sword is a magical weapon, chief. Okay, I didn't have it written down, so that's why I, was, I forgot it. I didn't have it <laughs> written. Down. If you don't know, um, anything plus that's gonna have plus one or plus two on it is a magic weapon. That is true, but I mean, I like the sword. I really do. I really do. That's why I wanted to add on to it, but. Since mm. that's not how it works, it kind of hurt my feelings. Yeah. Uh, what about... No! Ma so you I took get... personal offense to that. I, I just want... I just need to put down that it's magic, so I remember that it does magic... That it's yeah. Magical damage. Okay. Um, also, well, I could get custom armor, too. You could, yeah. yeah. I was thinking about looking for an armor smith somewhere. Yeah. Because uh, I like my armor. I really do. But if I could upgrade, that'd be very nice too. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's what I need to save money for. I, I want better armor. I mm. am a little bit. I at least want some a, a new helmet. <laughs> I'm probably yeah. like as the current is what we have access to. I'm probably in as good as I can get. I have plus one padded clothes. Damn, yeah. Why are we cheating us like a fucking MMO. God. Um, anyway, <laughs> I am an armor. I need armor. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, also, as, as like, uh, as we're leaving, uh, I will use, uh, the message, or the cantrip message to let mm -hmm. this person know that that other ring is a ring of firebolt that can be used once a day. She <laughs> looked around and, uh, he looks at you for a second, then, oh, <laughs> kind of pats her heart a little bit, <laughs> and walks over to the ring and <laughs> puts a new little uh, sign that she just like writes down real quick and a sign right in front of it. Well, the adventure is coming in. That's going to be some big money right there. Anyway, yeah, I want to see an armorer. Um... Hello. Oh, yeah. Wait, what kind of artificer are you? An armor. <laughs> Okay, it's, wow, that's perfect. Do you have, man, I don't need Smith's tools. I can just give them to this person. Uh, dude, I really didn't need to buy those Smith's tools. Man, that's crazy. There's someone who could fix stuff for us already. Huh. Oh, well. Um, but yeah, uh, I need some, I need some cool stuff. Man. Not magical. I just want a new helmet. That's all it is. I, I'm just going to go to the armor shop. I don't need anything special in that case. Okay. Um, so if it's just an aesthetic change, I charge you for it. Like there, There's no reason for you to like... I still want to see spend. what they have. I mean, I might... You know, maybe I want to do not... Just not... You know, not... More um, than aesthetic. Yeah. More than aesthetic. Um, yeah, so... so... <laughs> uh, near the Smith's... Uh, the smithing lair, which is just, I think it's just one right over the, uh, the docks. Um, so the smells of all the fish coming in from the, uh, river, as well as all the trade going on with, and the sounds fill the air of a dock, docking yard just right below you as you're 
surrounded by this mound of pinging hammers against iron. Uh, you find a small little uh, shop. Uh, it's all, basically almost a street vendor who has a portable uh, forge, but clearly knows what they are selling. At. They have set out stands of armor that are of incredible quality. Either he's a trader with very good knowledge on what to buy, or he's a smith who really is just bare bones. Um, but uh, you see he has quite the array of armors. Um, a couple that stand out to you is a, a full suit of adamantium uh, plate wow. armor. Um, uh, there's a couple shields that uh, stand out to you. Um, there's uh, some mithril half plate uh there and as well as just some normal uh run of the mill uh leather armor and pretty much all the basics even some uh raw resources that you could buy if you want to huh. go about it uh just just for a little bit of window shopping can i look at the adamantite the armor the price yeah. tag yeah how much uh, is that I so just there's the several shopping. there's several adamantite arms. Oh, there's so full, plate, full plate. <laughs> there's full plate. Uh, plate scale mail and uh, split. The, the heaviest heavy armor that is in adamantite, the full plate. Yeah, yeah. I'm also be curious about that. Same. Damn, how does, how many of us wear heavy armor here? Hold on a second. I can wear medium or heavy armor and be fine. I I can wear any type of armor. Yeah. Uh, bro, okay, hold on. <laughs> well, how many of you are fucking wearing chain mail right now? Put your hands up. I'm wearing <laughs> scale mail. Fuck. I'm wearing chain. Fuck, dude. Oh, yeah, the heavy armor. We the are heck not is a heavy party, apparently. <laughs> yeah, no, we are you. Not. Our party is not stealthy at all, sadly. You lost your rogue when Sean decided. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, and ironically, when Dave died. Sean. Uh, you know, sorry. Can we get an F in chat for uh, Owlbert? Oh, right. Hold on. Uh, but yeah, how much is it? Uh, do, 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 do. Sorry, I'm trying Hell to. Hell no, it's 50 price. gold. No, I'm talking about the adamantite armor here. Yeah. It's gonna be expensive. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh do 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 do. Here that is two thousand gold. That's it? Two thousand? That's not as bad as that's not as bad as I was expecting. Yeah. Hold on, that's it for the whole set for one piece. Uh, t -t -t -t. that doesn't sound right. No, my bad. Uh, <laughs> you're right. Yeah. No, I just can't multiply in my head. I'm a bit of a dumbass if I consider. No, it is uh three thousand seven hundred. That still doesn't seem right. I mean. It's not mithril. Isn't it better? Adamantite? No, mithril is the best D&D oh. &D oh, armor. Mithril is best, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, well, that's, also not that's also not considering like dark steel and stuff like that, which is yeah. improved mithril. Yeah. Uh, so what about uh, what about the mithril heavy armor? How much is that window shopping? Uh, that is... I think that's 15,000. No. I'm not saying I could afford that. No, no, my that. bad. I, I, I had it backwards. No. Okay. No, I had it right. Anyways. I'm not saying I could afford that. But. Let's get some actual uh, real life goals here. Because I feel like uh, blowing my entire bank account on... Uh, what about the shields? The shields? Yeah. Uh, 
They are plus one shields. Um, there are three of them. I I suggest uh, you as a cleric. I think it would probably be best if you go ahead and just like paint your um, holy uh, holy sigil on a shield, so you can just cast things. Um, but yeah, no, you you can definitely uh, find a, a, one of these shields. Uh, they are about da, 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 da. they are five fifty each. Um, one is a masterwork shield inlaid with a little bit of electrum. Uh, another is an ornate shield inlaid with silver and painted orange. Um, the third one is a is a very battered shield, um, and it looks like it was uh, at least used mostly for decoration, despite its uh, battered up nature. Yeah. Yeah, I can't afford any of those, but my shield right now says plus two to it, so. What? <laughs> what? Huh? Yeah. This is what I've been running with from my, um, like when I made my character sheet, and this was the base stuff that it gave me. Normally, me have a plus two. Oh, that's what you mean. Oh, thank God. Oh. Okay. Huh? Plus, plus two to okay, AC. So so, um, oh. a sh it's what you have is just a regular shield. A plus one shield takes, uh, you know, your normal shield and adds one to that, uh, the plus two to your AC. So, a plus one shield gives you plus three AC. A plus two shield gives you plus four AC. Plus gotcha. three shield gives you a plus, yeah. So on and so forth. I think it only goes up to but okay. yeah. Good sir. Uh, walk up to the guy and say and start speaking to him. Uh, a very old dwarven man. His eyebrows pretty much cover his eyes. Um, his, his eyebrow hair just almost covers his eyes. He has this thick, long beard that it seems to be caught in the embers a little bit, but is only slightly singed. Mm -hmm. um, his wrinkled form looks up to you and he goes, mm -hmm. Yes. So, I'm in the market for uh, new armor, or even just a helmet at this point. I'm just wondering if you had any well-priced uh, armors, other than the very expensive stuff I see here. Uh, yeah, he nods. Um, he gestures over to a breastplate. Which should only run you back uh, 650 GP. For just uh, all of these. Uh, it's the armor type breastplate. It's basically uh, you wearing the uh, breastplate portion of, uh, of plate mail. Yeah, it's only the breastplate. I mean, there's still like shoulder or uh, like pauldrons and uh, thigh guards and stuff like that, but uh, it, it's it. it doesn't give you the disadvantage of plate mail. It, it still allows you to roll semi well on stealth. Yeah, I don't care about that. Okay. Also, if your dex your dex is your dump stat, it will also still hurt you. <laughs> yeah. Because breastplate also has like. Uh, limitation to how much your decks can help, but it still requires you to have some. Yep. Okay. Um, what kind of... Uh, do you have any, like, full plate armor? I'd like to beef up what I have here a little bit more. I'd like to go up and upgrade, you know? Alright, yeah. Uh, he gestures to plate, uh, just normal steel full plate set. It looks a little battered up. Um, it has a price tag of eight hundred fifty. Hmm, not bad. That really isn't. Hmm. 
actually cheaper yeah. to get breastplate this way than it is for normal 5e. Yeah, normal I 5e is fucking 1500. I'm looking at it. Is it? I can't remember. I. Too late prices. I... <laughs> it is not. Um. Let's see. No, you're right. Uh, it's inflated. <laughs> Sorry, I I'm jump. Shopping episodes are so hard on the DM because like you've got to like now. go through like seven different like uh, seven different tabs. It's no, you're wow, fine. It's cheaper. No, no it's... never mind. Never mind. It's this much. He's worried. no. I'm an you are. It's it's fine. Don't don't worry about it. Uh, yeah, normal prices are different. Normal plate is, uh, it's two thousand. My bad. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry, it, it. I'm trying to go off of the uh, the um, three point five. Dungeon, yeah, the, it, conversions are a pain, but you know what? It's fine. Uh, da, da, da. all right. Well, it's a lot more expensive then. Um, two thousand. It would almost be worth saving up the extra few thousand just to get the adamantine. I mean, at the moment, in my pocket, I got 18 platinum. From the bums who uh, characters vanish off the face of the earth, not getting paid. But... Mm. Okay, so 100 gold is one platinum in this? Yes. Yep. yes. So I have at roughly 1,800 gold there. Adding two zeros. To the end of 18, correct? Yes. Yes. Uh, if you need, I will lend you 200. No, I don't think... I'm going to be honest, I don't know if it's worth it. Uh, the 850 yeah. was worth it. Uh, but... I'll yeah, but... uh, put your armor class up to 20. I'm at 16 right now. Price. You would put your armor class up to 20. That's That's very true. That is very true. It also gives you a lot of disadvantages, but yeah, you know what? A stealth. But you're wearing well, chains, so. Also, you know, swimming. Um, I don't need to swim. Other things. Yeah, but you know, if you <laughs> hear me out, if you fall into the middle of the ocean, you're that not is it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well. <laughs> but look, that but is look, a bad look, day, but. But look, here's the deal, though. If I fall into the middle of the ocean. Uh, I mean, I'm uh, my char my character specifically is basically like chum in the water. That's not good either way. Even if I can swim, I mean, five hundred two. But I'm at two. It's usually price. I look. One piece characters can get away with it. I'm sure I can too. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I severely undervalued. <laughs> That's yeah. my bad. Oh yeah. my god. How much? Oh. How much is the mythical stuff actually, huh? Uh, a lot. <laughs> uh, 2,000 gold. Uh, yeah, okay, Aaron. Yeah, sure, I'll take it. I'll take it, but, you know, nobody bring it up later. Da, 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 da. Uh, do you get disadvantage? You get disadvantage on climbing, too. Like, anything that's, like, dex-based. If you have full plate. Like, heavy armor. Uh, I believe it's not for climbing. Uh, I believe you still oh, have roll that as a flat check. Uh, okay. It's just it, stealth. It, yeah. Um, no, I'm at a, Adam anti. That's that's more like eighty thousand. There you go. Or not eighty thousand. Yeah. No, that's a much it's, number. That's that's a lot. <laughs> yeah. That's about let's, what I was expecting. Let's severely inflate the market. How about, how about that? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Much now much. I don't feel as bad. Yep. Anyways. It's a lot. Um, if you want plate, no, that's that's actually pretty cheap. That's that's only 2,000. Full bank account, though. I mean, yeah, but 20 AC. That is true. Let's see. I got eighteen platinum. That's eighteen. Uh, that's eighteen hundred gold pieces. Um, I have a hundred. I have one hundred and twenty-eight gold. 
So that's I'll leaving me at 200. It would leave you with some gold. That's true, because that would put me at 72 more gold needed, and then mm. I have 174 silver and then 600 copper. Can I consult? Is there a bank I can consolidate at? <laughs> Fuck. Sure, if you want to. If you want to consolidate with a bank, I'm totally fine with that. I, I don't trust your interests. I just imagine, like, as all this is happening, Bricks, like, admiring his new ring, just kind of walks up. Just kind of sees you muttering with, uh, Minthro. It's just, like, about the last two, uh, 200 gold you need. And Bricks just climbs up you. And just drops two platinum in your hand. That's for spotting me for my diamond. Thank you. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot. I forgot he owed me. <laughs> forgot he owed me money. All right. Well, you know what? I can't argue out of it anymore. I'm getting the plate armor. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Bricks doesn't even know what's more, happening. He's just hearing the argument about two platinum. Here. Uh. So, uh, is there any way to get this? Customize. I I'd like to keep the genos, the genes uh, symbols if possible. Um, he grunts, and uh, he holds up two fingers, and then uh, gives the uh, hand sign for day. Two days. So that's a, that's our, the max day we'd have. The max time uh, we have. <laughs> so. Can do it. You were giving a day and a half, yeah. Uh, you also have an armorer in your party, Chief. Right, oh yeah. <laughs> but I, I can just... add symbols and shit to your armor. It's true, okay. Uh, never mind. Ah, uh, thank you. Uh, uh, you know, Jovial, hand him money, give him 20 platinum, slap that shit in his hand. I am now poor until we finish this quest. <laughs> I mean, same. I have 78 gold. Yeah. So, Aaron, how would banks work? Because I don't want to be... I don't think carrying around this much money is a good idea. And how uh, hard are you going to try to fuck me over as a bank? So, normally for um, the Renaissance era, most people who aren't making a lot of money just hide their money in stashes. That's... Like, genuinely why we can find, like, a lot of, like, currency of yeah. older age. Yeah. Um, if you wanted to actually go to a bank, um, your interest rate would not be high. Uh, you, uh, they, even back in the day, they were running risk calculations on their uh, clients. So, you know... Uh, if you were not, if you didn't have a high chance of surviving whatever occupation you did, um, you know, they, the blank, the, the bank may flat out just say, no, you're not banking with us because there was no like, fair use back in the day. Um, for you, I think if you can hide your occupation away, what you actually are doing, cause that can get you arrested and or killed. Um. Yeah, no, you uh, you could probably get a decent interest at least, like maybe two percent. I'll just tell him I'm a, I'm a paladin for the John S. military. Done. He, again, that line of career is not yep, the most yep. secure. Yep. 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 Ah, yep. uh, I'm a paladin. I don't know. dude. Fuck it. I'm not gonna worry about it. God damn it. Why is banking so hard back in the day before we had rights and shit? You could I mean, ask the artificer to do it. To do my banking? <laughs> to Let me give the artificer for you. Because I'm, I can just say I'm a tinkerer. That's. <gasps> we could bank all. Dude, we're, we're going to have to get a party. Uh, a party bank at some point. Right? I've see, I've watched Log Horizon. We have to get a party bank. Nonetheless, <laughs> I haven't watched that anime in so long. I haven't uh, even season two or three. Season. Oh, uh, oh my god! I haven't a, seen. I, I've only seen the first season. I've only I, seen the. When I, did that come out? Like twenty twelve. <laughs> yes. Uh, I I think there's a third season well, now. I remember hearing about it. Like, Log Horizon. Log Horizon like didn't have a second. Season. Oh my god! Three seasons. Fireman. 
Yeah, there's three seasons. Yeah, it didn't yeah. have a second season for a long time. Yeah. And all of a no. sudden, second third... and third season popped out right Yeah, the third season another. came out last year. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's almost a decade. decade. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, I forgot. And the second season came out in like 2019, 2020. Like, it was basically right next to season three. Oh, my God. Anyways. Anyway, uh, anyway. Is there anything else you guys are wanting to buy? Weapons? Uh, I have, any trade goods? I am flat um, broke. The only trade good I got is probably rations. I don't know why I have them. You start I with them, whether them. you're warforged or not. I will take them. <laughs> okay. okay. Well, add, um, add two rations to your inventory. I need no. biofuel. Our party doesn't even need to eat. Speak for yourself. Speak for yourself. Old model have an ass body. Anyway, I have new I, armor. I literally run off of magic. Uh, how do I calculate this armor? Uh, plate? plate? Yes. It's it's it doesn't have any additive modifiers. It's just a flat twenty sheet. Oh, a flat twenty armor class. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. You don't get to add dex to it. It gives you disadvantage on stealth. Well, if I if I added dex, I would lose the armor class. So that's fine with me. Uh, you also need to make sure that you proficient in heavy armor. Which Paladins I are. Paladin, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I have heavy armor master. I'd hope I prof I, I'm proficient. Oh, wait. Ooh, heavy armor master. negate damage? Yeah, I negate yeah. three damage if it's non-magical. I forgot about that all during boat stuff. Fuck. I mean, you didn't really need it during boat stuff, so. I know, but still, I forgot about it. Yeah, that was the free feat I picked up. The starting feat was heavy armor master. All right, plate. Yeah. How much does it weigh? Well, if chainmail is fifty-five. I'm assuming plates like somewhere around a hundred, possibly. Uh, like oh, 70, 80 70, pounds, if I remember right. Seventy. I guess I can just Google it real quick. What am I doing? Hold on, I ha I had the thing up a second ago. Let me just pull it back up. Sixty-five pounds. Yep. Lighter than I thought. Okay. I mean, that's. Let's be honest. That is still quite a bit. And the uh, eight... that's only ten more than what it already was. And for plate, it's an eighteen, not a twenty. It's an eighteen. Okay. Oh yeah. I was thinking you had a shield as well. No, do not. Yeah, I thought so too. Nope. I use heavy weapons. That's my fighting style. Yeah. Heavy weapons. Great weapon fighting. That's what it is. 18 is still better than 16, though. I mean, let's be honest here. Yeah, yeah. it's an improvement. You've got the same armor class as me now. See, that's what I'm talking about, bro. <laughs> I'm up to a 13. I'm happy. 17. You're a caster. I am a caster. And You're an artificer. I'm yeah, a... and an armor <laughs> artificer can, ha can have the highest yeah. AC available. You know what? Anyway, especially as a warforge. That's a class. That's a caster class, and he has heavy armor. Why aren't you picking on him? Don't don't get don't make don't get me started on forge clerics. Yeah, still I mean, not the most broken cleric though. It's you, not, but god damn. Why do you do you, so? If you're if you're both warforges, why are you guys wearing armor in the first place? Or is this your natural armor you're going off of? No. Oh, uh, mine? We still wear armor over it. Yeah, so the way Warforge can work, they have two different ways. It can either be like basically a humanoid where they can wear armor, or they can go through plates, which is basically like, you know, basically like body a plated augmentation. Armor. Yeah, it's body yeah, augmentation. Body augmentation is cool because every long rest you can change it up to what you want it to be. I don't have that capability. Huh. Yeah, Did they get rid of that? 
It, uh, it's a Warforged variant. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh... We can get into it later. Don't worry yeah. about it. Yeah. Anyway, I also want to start storing shit. I have a lot of stuff in my backpack and stuff that I don't need to be carrying around. I have a full set a full set of chainmail armor that I don't need it right now anymore. We have no place now to you say... What? You said chainmail? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he has the ability of just merging with his armor. Yeah. Who? Him? Uh, James's character. Wait, he when did they add Warforged variants? Uh, I'm a homebrew. Okay. Um. Okay. Can I have the chainmail? Yeah. It might uh, throw me up there almost to twenty. Now I feel inadequate. Huh? Now I feel in inadequate. <laughs> Bro, my character's supposed to be the tank, but our healer's out tanking me. <laughs> uh, Welcome to Clarence. High AC doesn't necessarily mean you're the tank. Yeah, uh, it just I means mean, I'm more protected. If we're going by that, any any wizard that casts any any wizard with a high dex that casts shield can basically meet like AC twenty pretty easily. Yeah, just have just have a wizard with high dex cast fucking mage armor on themselves and then shield. <laughs> Boom. They have the high right. they have high AC. Well if the Warforce wants to eat my old armor, I I, I might need it. I doubt you'll need it. Well, you never know. It could be Aaron decides, alright, so we're gonna actually start ha having it so okay. that weapons leave damage. So if they're using a puncture weapon like a like a maul with a point on the end or a war. I can repair your armor. That's true. Fuck! <laughs> are, are you telling me that you think I would add durability into your armor clutch? Do you honestly think that I want to track durability amongst five characters? You'd force us to track it. I just mean, like, with crit, Even like, still. If they're using that's... a war pick and they land a crit, I mean, probably is. In all actuality, they're probably hitting you because it's going through your armor. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's that's basically what's happening. But still, am I adding just regular chainmail? It's 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 chainmail, needless. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you are, but uh, it's needless. Um, <laughs> it's needless modularization to a yeah. to a system that's already pretty complex, especially when you right. get to combat. I don't wait, feel wait, like it's what, necessary. What kind of armor are you wearing right now? Me? Yeah. Uh, scale mail. Is that not better than chain mail? No. Oh. It's one below it. Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it only does 14. If I'm wearing chain mail, it does 16. Yeah. So it adds a, two more on, which I would be at 19 AC. Because you, you have a shield, duh. Yeah. Alright, yeah, take the chain mail. That's 55 pounds off my back. Or just doing some trading in front of this guy's stall. Ah, uh, wait, uh, wait, hold on, time out. Talk about that. Uh, no, none. Of, you can't have my chainmail yet. I have to go change first. Oh yeah, okay. And uh, we'll just say that all this nice crap happens mail? like tomorrow morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All this crap happens the next day. Uh, like throughout overnight, I'm just changing. The old man is uh going ahead and putting it all in big boxes. Placing it up together with straps, making sure that it doesn't move. I pick oh, it up. he doesn't want to buy my scale mill armor. If you're gonna, um, everybody there. Plus, scale mill is heavy, isn't it? Yeah. He looks it's it up and medium. down. Medium. He looks it up and down and goes. He just shakes his head, no. Oh, okay. Yeah. He said that I don't know who you got that from, but they should not be a blacksmith anymore. It's extremely I mean, old. To be fair, to be fair, a it's extremely old. B with the quality of merchandise that he has, yeah, I, it doesn't seem like it would be a natural fit of what he had, uh, what he sells. Yeah. He'd probably be buying it for a loss. 
That's true. All right. Well, I'm we're gonna head out. Uh, my character's gonna get changed. Uh, Are okay. you guys buying anything else? I think no. So. Nope. All righty. So, uh, we'll just go ahead and fast forward to uh, you guys uh, strapping down your Mount Targon, and it's strapped up to uh, your cart. The sh- we, we got the shitty one, right? The shitty cart? That's the one we got? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's basically like an, it's, it's not meant for riding. Specific, uh, specifically, yeah, you can't ride my little red wagon. Um, yeah, um, yeah. Are you guys good calling it there? Yeah, yeah. yeah. All righty. The laptop I'm using is shitting out on me. So, uh, <laughs> Adam, your character it will uh it will be uh etching shit under the armor, but. Yeah. You have to do it all while Alwyn's wearing the armor. So I can't wait to use AoE spells against Alwyn. <laughs> or me. Why? Dex is also my dumb stat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> because Dex is AOE, also my dumb stat. It's saving throw spells, you, you're not using armor class to help you. Yeah. Meanwhile, I just upgrade my Dex. <laughs> I can upgrade my decks. Just give me some time. You can. It doesn't help you all that much. Strength yeah. would be a much better upgrade stat. Well, no, I am going to upgrade my strength, but I mean, I can get items to upgrade decks. I don't have to waste my level points on it. Oh, speaking of mm-hmm. which, items to upgrade uh, your strength, too. Yeah, but. Aaron. Yeah? Does this ring require attunement? Uh, it's the, uh, dex ring, correct? Yeah. yeah. No, it does not. Good. Perfect. Oh, Beautiful. Attunement would be for, like... Firebolt? It would be for, like, more powerful magic items, like, obscene. I've, items. I've seen I'm some attunement items that are absolutely dog, dog. so... Not playing anymore? Yeah. Um... <laughs> absolute dog water. No. Um, yeah, no, I think that's everything that we're going to cover tonight. So, um, um, yeah, good session. We'll uh, dive into it, the actual exploration of uh, Starfall Fields. Uh, get to the temple next session.